right, so let's start, I guess. So we're going to begin with our recap from last week. Uh, yeah, you guys turned in the infamous Renwick Drake to the authorities to the Cree garrison in the city of Carrington. Uh, where you received your 10,000 gold reward. Then, after receiving that, you had to uh, meet up at the bar where um, Bobby the Schlub, who had informed you that he used your good name in town to uh, procure some fine breakfast items and gold in return for a favor. A woman by the name of Marge uh, approached Bobby and asked for help cleaning out some problems in her bakery. She thinks some some rats were infesting her bakery. This is uh, where we left off. You guys were investigating the bakery. It seemed to be pretty much emptied out. Uh, I think Vitoris moved some boxes or tables away from uh, an area in the wall. And uh, as they moved those items away there's a hole in the floor with water coming up so the flooded basement um, lies before you along with some um, bloody boot prints that were looked like they were dragged into the hole um, so this is where we're gonna pick it up you guys had uh, short rested and, or long rested it's probably still pretty early in the day it's only by you know late morning at this point uh, with a con save of 13, does not always get PTSD about the last time that we were, like, doing the waterworks thing with all those, like, evil bullshits? Oh, well, Snodlers is feeling good today about this. All right, all right. Oh, I don't feel good about this now. The Snodlers feeling good about this. Bobby the Schlub's with us. I mean, it's only a flooded basement full of, uh blood streaks leading towards it what's the worst thing how how is there like steps going down to the basement or is it like just a hole it's just a hole what the fuck is it like murky water can we see in it yeah so you look in down into the hole and the water is similar to the water that you've seen throughout the city it's kind of a mixture of seawater and uh Oops. fresh water from the local from the nearest river mixed with sewage and everything else so it's kind of it's definitely murky hmm. and the blood trail leads here yep it looks like two uh, two trails so like something was dragged into the into the hole the hole is pretty big around actually it's probably about uh, uh, probably diameter wise we're looking at about four or five feet in diameter wasn't it the doorway to the basement? I thought. I could be wrong. Is it the basement or is it just a random hole in the floor? Oh, it's just a random hole in the floor. Ah, well. Why is, why is there sewage in all the water here in this city? I think it's because it's flooded. Let's just you know, cover... All the sewages are backed up. Let's cover the hole up and get the fuck out of here. Turn this ominous music down a little bit. Yeah, you so don't even need to. You look in the back, and need... Bobby the Slip has got his sword out, and he's uh, he's still kind of standing in the back. He's looking left to right. You can tell he's feeling a little bit nervous. Maybe he's feeling a little bit of shame that he got you guys into this. Don't worry, Bobby. We've done shit like this before. Well, I, I, I thought you guys would be able to handle this, but if. If not, I, I suppose we could give the money back and let's call it a day. Wait, they paid up front? Yeah, that's why we're here. Yeah, that, that's where I bought all this delicious breakfast items that you guys had for breakfast today. If he didn't Wait, just pay up today. front, we wouldn't have been here. We would have left. Well... Trust me, this is not where I would want to be right now. But thanks to Bobby, it's kind of where we got to be. Why don't we send Bobby down in the hole? Well, if... I mean, does anyone have a way so we can see in there? 
Or I, breathe down there? I don't know how even how deep it is. I can breathe under there. I can't help the rest of you with breathing. Fucking Hector. Well, maybe you could <laughs> check it out. <laughs> I mean, I cast light on my hand crossbow. Activate the uh, cap of water breathing. And I just put my... God damn it, it's got to be fucking sewage water, doesn't it? It's always sewage <laughs> water with you. You know, don't worry. Snoddlers will help. And then he reaches out and he uh, uses prestidigitation to pre-soil the Taurus's clothing. <laughs> there, Snoddlers has fixed it. You don't have to worry about the sewage now. You have already been sewaged. <laughs> Snoddlers are kind of a dick. He on him. And then I, I will. I don't know if I can hit a target that small, but I'll try. I'll. Uh, with crossbow in hand, I'll stick my head in the water and see what I can see. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yes, yeah, so with your crossbow in the water, it kind of lights up uh, dimly around. You, you probably see a good, you know, 30, 40 feet down. The water's murky, but you know what? The water itself, you, you notice it has a little bit of a current to it. Uh, you look down, and it looks like you can see to the floor, and it looks like this was part of a, an old, at one time, um, block basement like cellar to this place um but you kind of like you know hold your crossbow around a little bit and you you do see like some of the the foundation is uh like busted off this is remember this is a pretty small building it's it's only like two rooms and you look down you can see part of the, the walls are already collapsed and you can kind of tell even like the the st structure that you guys are standing is probably isn't the safest but then again that's probably how most of the city is Does it? Do I see four walls? Is there a? Yeah, you see four walls ish. Ish. Yeah, one of the walls looks like they appear to be broken down. You can see it just kind of leads uh, into the darkness to the, like to your west. Is that where it feels like the current's taken? Yeah. Taking the water. Yeah. All right, I'll uh, pull my head up out of the water and let them know I see four yeah, walls ish. There's a small current, seems like there's a hole in one of the walls and it goes somewhere. No bodies. Right? No bodies? Yeah, you don't you don't see any bodies or anything. It, it, from what you saw, it looked like an empty, just block basement. You, you see the... It's it's murky, but whatever had maybe at one point been down here, um, the current seems like kind of strong enough where it probably could have washed anything away. Oh, so what little bit of sewage is just stuck, like, in the floor here? Yeah. Damn it. So, I'll give them that information. Ask them how we're going to go about doing this. Can nobody else breathe underwater? Oh, Lurks can put his cap on. Once upon a time, we all could. Long time ago. Oh, I cannot. But what uh, direction is the hole that leads out? I can go over and land, maybe. I point. Well, the issue is like I'll point um, above the hole which way the hole is. The issue is it might be like a cave system or a sewer system that uh uh bends and whatnot. It might not go in a straight line. Hmm. This is true. And if even if you stayed above us in a straight line, well, assuming I'm assuming something came out of this hole and started eating or drug these people into the hole. Uh, you got shovels? How long? How many rounds will it take you to dig down to us? I couldn't tell you. I'm not going down there, because I can't breathe underwater. I can't either. So, so it looks like uh, you and I are guarding? <sighs> it's not With always... Bobby. Look, look, look. Who? I... Snoddlers has a cap of water breathing. Does it make sense that someone who is much more, as he looks up and down, not as small, have this? I dig out of my bag and pull it out. 
I mean, I'll go down there if I can breathe. If I don't, I'm not gonna die going down there. But I will use not that. Not think that breathing is part of the not dying part, but it's not all of it. Is he like hands the cap of water breathing? It's probably a little bit small. Yeah, I mean, can I squeeze that thing on my head? Sure. More like the foreskin of water breathing. <laughs> God. Yeah, I'm sure it'll work. It's, it's kind of like a wonder, yeah, like a jellyfish membrane. I wonder what it smells like inside there. The Underdark. I'd say it smells like the Underdark. Which we now know probably smells like Lady Gaga. Relatable. So, I put it on, and I'm ready to go down in the hole. What do you do with your hat of deception? I... Uh, you could put it in your bag. You could hand it to Bobby the Schlub. Definitely don't do that. Just not put it in your bag, bro. Yeah, I'm going to put it in my bag. God damn, I don't want to even put take it underwater. <laughs> it's going to get wrecked. Take it. <laughs> Dollars has a bag of holding. You can put it in. Dollars like opens up his bag of holding. Or you can just hang it off the end of the trident. Huh. <laughs> like a coat rack. Uh, maybe I should... seems like <laughs> a little hat rack. Maybe I jump in the water that... after him. Maybe I should take that trident down in there with me. All right, so who's going in the water? I'm going in the water. Well, I'm definitely going in the water right now. I mean, I obviously, not, yeah. I am. That makes sense. Uh, Vossum, what do you ha do? You have a cab of water breathing or anything? Nope. All right. Well, Hector's fucking us over already. Yep. <laughs> Megalair had that. I was, I was thinking when we ended that session, I was like, man, hopefully Hector's back next week because we'll really need his water breathing spell he says he casts every morning. Dollars will just have to start looking for it. Maybe we'll come across <sighs> Narjan again. <laughs> oh, God, I hope his, so. <laughs> restock his cash. Well, we're not going to have any money probably then, though. Possibly. All right, so you guys uh, slip down through the hole the busted hole about four probably about five feet wide and you slip down into the darkness and you uh, should, should see a light area you can see the basically the the cellar of this room you can see the broken great things the broken floor is that the great is that what we where we came down through yeah think about that that's actually like the bakery floor Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And then what you see is the uh, the basement below. And it's completely flooded up to the ceiling, but you feel like there's like a current kind of brushing you, um, kind of pulling you just slightly towards the uh, towards the west. As you see an opening, it's like the wall has like completely deteriorated and crumbled. But you also see that the wall on the, the east side of this uh Cellar is also kind of partially collapsed. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. Whoever jumped down in there, put your tokens in that room. Well, it's... My tokens are all sorts of fucked up. I mean, it's, for, it's, for some reason, it's listing every single token I've ever fucking made. Not just... Let me refresh. There's all my tokens I made for the Cult of the Dragon. That's cool. Campaign I ran fucking a year and a half ago. Yeah, no, I still have stuff from my campaigns in here. This is the first time I've seen it. Scat Croco. Yeah, if you uploaded it, you have access to it. Like, that's what that is. I don't... I never uploaded it, and nothing's showing up from this campaign. Oh. How did we get in this room? Like, where did we come in at? There's a hole, right? There's a hole in the floor, yeah. Well, 
Mizaris, you can. I put your token on the map. Can you still control it? All right. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I can control it. I figured it out. I was just being dumb. Oh. No way. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> Damn. All right. So Vasen, you're staying up uh, above with Snobbers and Bobby the Schlub. Yeah, I guess. Okay. All right, so uh, yeah, Yuri, Kolos, and Fatoris, you guys descend into uh, the murky water, and it's probably a good uh, eight feet deep up to the ceiling. Nice. I'll swim around, get my bearings. I actually, Yuri, do you have anything out? Like shield or a weapon or anything like that? What do you mean, like in my hands? Yes. Um, no. Do you want me to have something out? <laughs> yes. Oh, wait, no. Fuck it. You're fine. You can see in the dark. Fuck you. Oh, I that really, I can... I, I didn't mean it like that, Harry. I apologize. It's very harsh. He's just jealous. That's right. What the... Everyone... Oh, what? No, Fossen. Me and Fossen. Sure, if you guys can see me, Yuri has a little bit of trouble swimming underwater, like his legs are short and stubby. Don't you have the armor of swimming? Yeah, but Yuri's fat and I'm fat and I know I have a hard time swimming underwater. So especially you guys are looking down and like everything's kind of like uh, like there's a lot of seaweed and like algae kind of growing on everything. Uh, this isn't like a, a current situation in Carrington. Like this has been like this for a long time. So is the, the roof, or well, I guess the floor above us is all that wood from the building. Yeah. Yeah. So above you is all like wood and, and large beams and stuff, and you can see that. It, it's all pretty waterlogged. Again, just thinking from like an engineering point, like who knows how long Carrington has before it's all gonna just rot and fall into the sea. Gotcha. I'll uh, keep my handy dandy crossbow lit up, and I'll see what's down this way. All right. So, Vitor says you could make your way towards the edge of this, uh, basically the edge of the foundation. It kind of opens up, and you see that like a similar look you see foundations of uh nearby buildings and kind of like an alleyway in between but what you do notice is it looks like there's um some sort of uh, like drainage sewer pipe to the uh to the west but also it kind of uh, we'll open it up like as you kind of look around the corner you can see that it kind of goes around the edges of the building here Is this like a section of wall that's missing as well? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll swim a little further out. So I'm just kind of swim swimming behind these guys because I realize we can't communicate with each other other than hand gestures. I was about to ask, can yeah. we talk with? Oh no, because the bubble will stop it. The sound will quit carrying as soon as it hits water. No, it was up up top. Yeah, the bubble stays there to seek to manward. Yeah, the sound up on top. Starts uh, casting uh, telepathic bond as a ritual for just uh, the two of us that are up here. <laughs> real nice, Snodler's real nice. <laughs> I was thinking about that as you guys were jumping in, but I didn't want to actually like hold that up for that thought. So I might as well do it now. So, so you guys can telepathically talk the two dudes with each right next to each other. Yeah, definitely. It, yes. it, it makes sense. And with Bobby the schlub. Oh no, he's not involved. No, he it's left Bobby out. Poor Bobby. Oh, I thought he was gonna do it, make him feel like he's part of the crew. Yeah, but so you, we can but you, him later. you guys up there look back, and Bobby's like sneaking some of the pies that are sitting out on the counter. Or 
you do it and you don't let Bobby know. Maybe you get some surface thoughts from Bobby. Like, <gasps> like it's just random thoughts that he doesn't realize he's broadcasting to everyone. Damn, Dawson's hot. Basically, though, when I think about this stuff, I just I pretty much picture like Homer Simpson. Go. Does it end up here? Um, so you look and it looks like again, like you see the edge of a, uh, like of another, uh, bleh, another foundation um, that's kind of opens up into like, kind of like I guess you'd say like open water up there. This path this way, it just looks like a, like a pipe or something that goes down. Yeah, you, you can actually see uh, it looks like a sewer pipe. Ugh. I don't want to swim down a sewer pipe yet. Any trace of, I mean, this, you're not going to see blood or anything, but any body so far? No, nope, you're not seeing a whole lot of anything. There's some, some, a few fish swimming around and things like that, but um, uh, there's definitely like a, a current kind of like rushing towards you, towards that, towards, towards the east, as you kind of make your way down around the outside of the building. You see, again, other nearby structures, similar sort of thing, where there, a lot of them are kind of starting to fall apart and they're becoming more and more decayed. Go up to this corner, peek my head around the corner. Okay, right. so as you walk around the corner, you can feel the, the water start rushing around the corner. Um, you do notice there's a fairly large building that's uh, across the way, and it's a little bit brighter here because you are approaching to a point where there must be like a street above here, and uh, you see the, the sunlight coming down uh, into this area, and it kind of opens up pretty good. And you notice there's another large foundation uh, to the south. And uh, make a perception check, uh, Vitoris. I'm awesome at these. Thirteen. Uh, all right. So with that, you notice like a kind of a large school of fish just kind of like dart out from the south and kind of like go from the south and then head towards your guys' direction, but like they kind of uh, see you and they get a little startled and they head off to the east. I'll look at Kolos and Yuri point at the two directions and then kind of shrug. What, you nervous? I can talk underwater. I can't. I don't even know if I can hear you. You should be able to, right? Yeah, I think you'd probably be able to hear him if you're close enough to him. Cause he's not, like, impeded by the water. I'll, I'll, I'll talk. I don't know if you can hear me. I'll be like, nah, just which direction do you want to go? <laughs> I'm just assuming I'm hearing, mum like, yeah, muffled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just smirk, I'll take the lead. And, uh, we'll head to where the fish came out. Alright, you start making your way around this building. And you notice that, again, here's a, another building that, like, the foundation is cracked and slipped out. And it opens up into the cellar of, a, of an adjacent building. Kind of, That's where we are right now, or is that... That is one of the this paths. area to the right, this other building. You can see this opens Over up. You know? okay. And you kind of head around the corner, and again, as you kind of like make your way through here, you see this sewer system. Again, there's um, s several other like pipes that are kind of uh, drainage pipes. And you feel the current, again, kind of like sucking you towards the west. Alright, we'll look around this corner All into right. the other building. Alright, as you uh, peek around the corner, you see this uh, room. Again, it's similar to the, the basement of the bakery. Uh, it's kind of a, a similar size room. And it opens up, but what you do see is you just kind of like peek around the corner in the darkness. You see this large humanoid figure, and it's kind of like kind of hunched over, and it's like large claws are ripping something apart. It looks like it's ripping apart a, uh, a human figure. You see actually like 
a torso and like a leg and a foot kind of start floating by you. I only see one. Uh, yes, and one one large figure. Um, it doesn't right. quite, it doesn't notice you yet, so. Right. I'm going to take just a step back and then tell the other two that there's something huge down there. I gently pat my uh, crossbow. And I'll lean up against this wall here. Alright, so um, have you guys make stealth checks then? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wait, does the water muffle or amplify? I Just think asking it questions. <laughs> the water's gonna. I don't know. Play I don't know, man. I mean, whales can go like miles because of that shit. Just you know, making statements. You guys all roll really good. I mean, the the DC is gonna be pretty low. So yeah, so you guys are, think... are all still kind of pretty much hidden. Vitoris is kind of hidden behind the wall. His the light of his crossbow is kind of hidden against the foundation. So this thing is still enjoying its meal coalesce. You can hear it kind of like, like kind of like grunting, and you can hear its claws just like shredding through this, this, uh, this corpse. All right. Uh, do I see another hole in the that roof, to where the other guys could get into that building, potentially? Um. From where you're at, you'd have to go further into the room to really notice anything. From what you could tell from that corner, you didn't see anything. Well, uh, fuck it. I'm on the step around the corner. Alright. You step around the corner. I'm just... I'm shaking my head no. <laughs> I, I don't see it. You step into the basement, and it opens up into uh, a large, pretty much empty room. You see a uh, kind of an old-looking trunk uh, amidst some debris in the back corner. Um, and this large figure has got its back turned to you. Uh, you do see, as, as you step around the corner, in the uh, the upper northwestern corner of this room, there is a, a hole in the floor. Uh, but... This is one of those f creatures that you've seen before. These scrags, these grotesque water creatures. Um, but it still doesn't see you guys as it's busy eating, so you could probably have a second here before you or notice. What do you want to do? Oh, uh, I want to try to. Would I know what building this opens into? Mm, I don't know if you guys would have really paid attention. I mean, I guess you can kind of tell that it would be, you know, roughly across the uh, the street from the bakery. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, this this pass in, in the middle, you would have um, taken the gondola right up through here. All right, so we cross the street. Yeah, basically, you cross the street. All right. I will before combat starts. Um, I'll try to. Is it at the bottom or is it more towards the ceiling? Uh, it's that um, creature. It's uh, the creature is on the floor, it's on the ground, but the hole is up in the ceiling above the creature. Oh, I thought it was over here where it was no. lighter. My bad. Nope. I don't know why that came out lighter. There's just looks like a puddle underwater. It's just my shitty skills that. Incarnate. It's fine. All right. Um, uh, so, Vitoris, as soon as you step around the corner, though, this thing like notices the light and it kind of turns its head, and you see its mouth kind of ah, open up as this blood just trails out and um, dissipates into the water. And uh, yep, yeah, we're gonna do this now. Good luck, bitches. I was gonna say, well, I don't want you guys back off, but. You guys kind of just swarmed in. Uh, Batoris swarmed in for the record. Yep. <laughs> for the record. For the Why record. did it not? Let's 
not rolling or it's not carrying over. Uh, D D Beyond did update. Yeah, there was a a Beyond twenty update. Does it not auto update? No, it does. I'm just saying, like maybe you need to restart Chrome or something. Sons of bitches. The roll is twenty five. All right, well, I'll just put you in. That's fine. I'm restarting it now. You get a minus 10 because I don't trust you. Oh, uh, the trust <laughs> minus 10? <laughs> Just kidding. All right. All right, so Vitoris, even though you uh, walk around the corner with your uh, crossbows lit up, surprise this thing. Uh, it turns around and looks at you. And um, you have the crossbills out at, pointed at it. What do you want to do? Um. Let's take a shot. Without a steady aim. For 12 to hit. Well, there's not enough. Oh, that's Snickers. <laughs> or was it a Milky Way? So, <laughs> that was definitely a Snickers, sorry. <laughs> oh, I could hear the peanuts. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'll move up to there. And then... Is there a hole in the floor? Yeah, so just, is... just basically above your head there's a hole in the floor. And again, it's a similar like four-foot hole in the in the floor of this house. I would, well, no, I wouldn't know. I'll use bonus action dash, swim up and poke my head and see if, is there anyone in that house? Or shop, or whatever. Okay, yeah, so you, like, peek up in there, and it looks like this is a, it's definitely a house, but it looks like it's, uh, there's nobody home. It looks kind of, like, somewhat abandoned. Do I see a window? or the front door or anything. I'm tr what I want to do is uh, go to the window, or if someone was home, I was going to tell them to run across the street and get uh, Vossen and Snoddlers, but uh, if no one's home, how far away is like a door or a window so I can just yell at them? Uh, yeah, you look up and it looks like it's just like a like a simple little house. Like maybe, you know, it looks like it has, it's been lived in. So I shouldn't say abandoned, but it looks like it's not like a... Uh, like a happen in place, but yeah, it's bright out. It's still daytime, remember? So there is windows. There's lights, light coming in. How far away is the front door? Oh, the front door is right in the s center of the uh, the building up here. So, so what, like ten feet of movement to get out of the hole? Yeah, because it's about thirty feet from where you are. So you're gonna have to right. swim up a good ten feet to get there. All right, well, ten. Would I be able to get to the door with 30 feet of movement? Um, yeah. All right, I'll get to the... Yeah, because you dashed, right? So it would have taken half your movement just to get up to the... All right. To the, so, uh, the hole in the floor. Get to the door, open it. Hopefully they're not home, and then just scream across the street for uh, Vasen and... Snodlers get their ass over here. All right, well, let's Snodlers and uh, Vossen make a perception check to see if you can hear that. I'm automatically assuming Batoris ran and ditched us. Well, yeah, that's definitely what it looks but, like. <clears throat> but I'm not. But I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'd say you guys. Yeah, definitely, you can hear them. It's not there's more so heard something. Let's see if Bobby Love heard it. Uh, he rolled Bobby. a three. <laughs> yeah, he was way too busy with them pies. Yeah, he's eating pies. All right, so Vitoris, you just uh, 
That's probably all you can do, considering you just. Yep, that's fine. I, I, I was. <clears throat> Roberto, Vasen, did was was that was that Vitoris? Hmm. Did you hear you, something? You, did you? Pappy looks up. I don't hear anything. You should try these blueberry pies. They're pretty good. Are you are you making are you making us do another thing for this lady? Get get your face out of that. We could, we could just say that the rats ate it. These are really good. You should try some. I'm pretty sure your beard hairs are in there. <laughs> well, well, nobody will know. The rats don't have beards. Someone will know. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I was thinking Fine. too. Like, like we're gonna, if we do rescue her, we're gonna owe her money. <laughs> Bobby's gonna show up and his face all covered in pie. Rats really uh, got in there deep. Did you hear something, Snothers? Yes, I think I, I, think I heard Vossen. No, you I'm not heard me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, we're standing right in front of each other. But we have the mental connections. That was weird that I heard you. Oh also, I think what? I heard Vitoris. <laughs> what way? Do you know? Can you tell the direction? Oh, God. Um, yeah, all right. We're so, in a house, right? Yes, yeah, so yeah, more there's... importantly, does the Underdark have the concept of north? <laughs> well, Sounders, go ahead and make a, uh, a survival check to see if uh, you can tell where it was coming from. All right, it's good enough. So, yeah, that way. So you guys can go ahead and uh, add yourself some turns uh, at the um, end of the initiative order. I don't know where we're at. We're at Kolos. So. Got Kolos, Yuri, and then the Scrag. Yep, and then it'll be uh, now there's in Boston. Whoever has the higher decks can go first. Actually, I don't really care. You, you guys can pick who, which one of you guys want to go first after that. All right, Kolos, so what are you doing down there in the water? Uh, Channel Divinity. Battle of Enmity. And brush in with the elemental longsword. Give me a second. There we go. 23 to hit. Ooh, that'll hit. Uh, 11 slashing, and I'm going to do... One of the charges uh, with the elemental longsword. Uh, 2d4 of acid. Mm -hmm. An extra 8 damage of acid. Then I'll swing again. Alright, go for it. 24 to hit. Damn, another, another strong slash. Uh... Same thing, but I'm also going to do that's acid damage. But I'm also going to do uh, level two. It's been a long time since I did this. Hang on. I forgot what it was called. Hang on. Divine Sally. There Sounds like some Skyrim music. So an extra 14. All right. Oh. All right. Nice. And that's my turn. All right, Yuri, seeing as uh, how Vitoris abandoned you, Kolos is fighting this thing, slashing into it with his longsword. As it kind of towers over him, and you can see it has like fins. It has almost like fish-like features. What do you want to do, Yuri? I'm going to join in and swim over and attack it with my axe. All right, you do that. I'm going to swim. Well, I'm going to swim over here, where I'm at now. Okay. Not that that makes any difference, but... With a 24. Nice. Yeah, that definitely slashes at his thing. Uh... 
Um, and I'm going to jack back and swing again. All right. Natural 20. Uh, so what's your normal attack? It's a d10. No. For normal attack for what? Damage? Yeah. For a I think it's a eight. Is that eight? One hand One. or two? Oh, it's a d8, yeah. All right, so yeah, so you surprise this thing. You rush over and you start whacking at it with the axe. And it's starting to look kind of hurt. You just see there's like the whole cellar here. It's just kind of like a big uh, cloud of blood around this thing. Do I, so I see it bleeding? Oh, yeah. I'm going to... Um, I'm probably distracted. Do it. Is this a treasure chest here? Uh, yeah, it looks like a yeah, like some sort of trunk or chest. Yep. Like what I noticed that are probably not yet because I'm focused on the creature. Yeah, as you rushed in, I'm sure Yuri would definitely notice that. Anyway, I'm going to uh, use my action surge so I can attack it again. Okay. Oof. Oh, Horrible. big mistake. All right, make a make a dexterity saving throw. Big mistake. You swing around, and uh, for a second, you lose your grip on the axe, but uh, you manage to muster up a little bit of strength, and you hold on to it as you're just holding the very end, the, the, the end of the handle, before it escapes your hand. But, but you grab a hold of it tight, and you reel back for another attack. Try to recover the best I can. and Nice. So you hit him with another seven points of slashing. So this thing has definitely been, you just come over there to start wailing on it, and it's it's feeling uh, a little bit cornered now. Is that it for your turn? Um, yes. Yeah, I'm going to end my turn there. All right, so now it goes and it takes a, tries to take a bite at uh, Kolos. Uh, with 10 to hit. That uh, misses. And a miss. So then it uh, reaches out and tries to swing its claw at you, Kolos. Uh, 16 to hit. It's probably going to miss, uh, too. misses. And then with its third attack, it kind of reaches across with its left hand, and it kind of claw at Yuri's face. Uh, with a 22 to hit, Yuri. Oh, well, that most certainly definitely hits. All right, so Yuri, you take 14 points of slashing damage as this thing just... Brrr, comes across you and you back up just in time so you don't uh, get your uh, cap of water breathing slashed by this thing but you feel the heavy hand as it kind of breaks across your crease right across your chest uh. alright so let me add here Vasen add a turn and where is Mr. Snellers I haven't dropped myself in yet because oh. I'm not I'm I'm kind of confused on where like if we heard them, yeah. Do so, we jump in the hole for this? Like that's I think part of where I'm confused. Yeah, you heard the voice. I mean, I think you I, I, would have heard the 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 sound outside. I mean, it was pretty clear. Like you guys probably would have left the door open anyway. So you guys are probably somewhere yeah. within that realm there. All right, so we're gonna run over, over like there. run run over to the house. Yeah. yeah. Doors open. I'm standing in the in the doorway, so they might be able to see me. me Assuming it's directly across the street. So I don't know. Let's see. If we're gonna put uh, put you guys in order like that. I don't know if you guys both rolled initiative or not, but right. I did six. It didn't show up. 
Yeah, I, I put you in. Uh, I said you guys are last in order, so I'm just gonna put you six uh, and sure. five like that. It works. Uh, let me see. Let me scroll down. All right. So yeah, Boston, it's your turn. You're in the house. Doors open. Problem is the door wouldn't have been on that side actually, because you guys walked in the house and walked to the back where the um, cellar was. So the door is probably more so on the front of the house. I uh, go to the front of the house then? Sure. So, I mean, it's going to be normal movement. Yeah. What the hell is... Is this the, the whole... Is this a different house? So you, yeah, so you'd be about, basically about there, right? That's like where the gondola would be, parked outside. Alright. And then, yeah, from there, uh, you definitely would see across the road, uh, and you'd see Vitoris on the opposite side, like, standing in a, the front door of somebody's random house. I uh, then I'll try to get over there. Are you gonna, you gonna try to swim? No, hell no. You can just you can take the gondola. There's like a boat to get over there. You guys took a boat to get here. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. So now that you're coming with me, we take the gondola over there. So you could see her. Yes, but because we're in combat, like I'm, I don't know how we can how we're playing this properly. Well, and, and technically, like the gondola is driven by a taxi driver. So we're just gonna steal it. He's Look, just, he's I got just sitting efficiency. outside waiting for you guys. I'm assuming it's like, all right, just just chill here. We're gonna go check out these rats, and the guy's just out there like, uh, what, what, what have you been? I'm I've been waiting here all day. All right, I'll, I'll point over to where Vitoris is and say, "Take me over there." So now there's good. Don't forget, are you gonna leave Bobby the schlub there alone? Bobby, watch the hole. <laughs> Great Not idea. the pies. All right, so we'll we'll count that as uh, your guys's movement to get to into the gondola. Um, action wise, I don't know if there's anything you can still do. I will drink some booze. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say take a drink. And that's about it. All right. Trying to find Maybe take the dodge action. I'll take the dodge action just for for shits. Yeah, you never know what's out there. Yeah. I'm trying to find my Bobby. There's. Some those will take the over. dance action. I can't find Bobby. They should love. I never, never thought I'd actually have to use his token. He's gonna be in combat. He's gonna save the day. Yeah, I can't find him right now. So, um, <laughs> well, that's a good one. Okay, so Sounders and Vossen are dancing and drinking in the gondola. Um, so that's going to bring back to Vitoris outside the the neighbor house. I see them coming towards me, so I'm going to move my movement and jump down the hole. Psh, splash it back and, in the water. Yep, yeah, and then I'm going to try to shoot it with a natural 20. All right. Woo, you hit. Uh, it's going to be a lot. Seven, four, 34. 16. 64. 64. I'm going to be super sad if I went to the trouble to get those two to come over here and it's dead before they get here. So, yes, I have 64 points of damage. Um, yeah, 64 points of damage is... Uh, almost exactly what you needed to kill it so you just jump down the hole and snipe it right through the back of its head as it's slashing at Yuri it goes down I'll swim back up go to the door never mind and then, and then go jump back in the water do not scream sorry alright is uh, that it for your turn then yeah, that's it for my turn. All right. All right, well, we'll take you guys out of combat, and since the 
threat is gone. Well, you know what I'm immediately doing. I'm swimming right for that chest. All right, you go over there, and it looks like it's uh, like a trunk. Like it's got a little lock on it, and it's kind of wedged up against some like some debris, and uh, it's got like a uh, like a large piece of like timber, kind of like jammed across this, across it. Not everything flooded away from this building. It's kind of stuck under some shit. Is it... Can I free it? Is it too heavy for me to lift? Yeah. Go ahead and make an athletic check to see if you can kind of lift some of the crap off of it. Nice. Alright, yeah, so you you kind of put your weight underneath the, some of these uh, floor joists and you, you pop it off and pull this trunk out. And, uh... Yeah, you, you pop the the top. It's got two little latches on it, and you open it up, and inside it looks like a, a bunch of clothing in there. Looks like some some rather fine clothes. You, as you kind of like rifle through them, and they're kind of floating around in your hands. And it looks like a like a nice tunic and a pair of pants. But there is an interesting looking cloak that's in there. Like the cloak looks different. Um, yeah, it looks. Different. It looks like it's made out of uh, like out of a fish. It's kind of a leathery looking thing too. It definitely doesn't look like a, an ordinary cloak. Oh, I take that and the tunic, and that's all that's in the chest. That's all that's in the chest. Just a bunch of clothes. Well, I grab that stuff and just disappoint and swim away for the hole. All right, yes, yeah, so you head up to the hole where uh, Vitoris is. I'll swim up through the hole. Let uh, Vasen and Snodlers know that we killed it already. Sorry. What was it? Scrag, one of those big, ugly green things. It was eating someone. Do you know who? Not yet. I'm assuming I'm just yelling at him as they're crossing the yeah, river. Yeah, the they're gondola. just crossing in the gondola. I'm waiting for someone to run up. What are you doing to my house? You start looking around the house and you don't see anybody around. It looks like uh, you can see there's. Uh, but looks like maybe this was a, a single person that had lived here. You don't see like his and hers things. Live left love sign on the wall. Yeah, th there's definitely no sign of a, of a female presence in this house. Just this must have been a bachelor pad. So empty booze bottles all around. Yeah, basically. So. Did the other two eventually make it to us? Yeah, so a couple of minutes later, the gondola crosses. You guys are all in this random dude's house. Alright, where's Bobby? Bobby's eating pies. He didn't come, did he? Bobby's probably still stuffing his face. So now you're that you're standing up in the in the light and you're taking a good look at these uh, these clothes. You're kind of ring out these clothes. This cloak uh, looks uh, very nice. This is actually a cloak of the manta ray. So it'll allow somebody to breathe underwater if you use an action to pull up the cloak over your head. And it gives you a swimming speed so you could actually fight underwater. Uh, does it fit me? Like, is it gonna fit me or is it too small? It would fit you. Well, it may not look like my style, but I put it on. All right. Am I um, familiar with it? Like, I know, I know that when I put it up, I can breathe underwater. Like, I know that, or I I don't know that. Sure, you know that because I'm not going to sit here and we're going to micromanage you identifying this and figuring out what it does. Yeah, 
All right, so what are you guys are doing? You're all rendezvous at the random house. You can see a similar sort of situation. There's a hole in the floor. It looks like a rather large hole. I mean, you guys, just by judging, it looks like these these things, these scrags are burrowing up through people's houses. And are there blood? Is there a blood trail in this house? It's a, yeah, it's the same sort of looking thing. It looks like a blood trail, and it kind of looks like a, a little bit of a scuffle that leads to the hole in the floor. Hmm. So they've been using the sewers to come up through the bottoms of the houses and kill this the people. This is the poor section of town, too, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, no wonder no one's heard of it. I think, I think Bobby might have accidentally stumbled upon something that actually needs investigating. And not just murdering rats. Speaking oh, of Bobby... I... Sorry, go ahead, Yuri. I was confused whether we're all in the same room or is it just the three of us? Everybody, you guys are all in the same room now. Like, it took a couple of minutes, but uh, Vasa didn't sit there to make their way over to this house. So you guys are in the house across the street from the bakery. I run right over to Snodler's, give him his cap back. Hmm. Snodler's, thank you. Ask for my hat back. Is it still in the coat rack? And turn around and show him my cape. Or my... My hood. Cloak. It's not Lord's impressed. <laughs> I think Snowders would be impressed. Not Lord's class. It, it looks like a... Like a, like a manta ray, so... It, Definitely Snowder style, considering he's wearing like tiger PJs. Cape. Understood. That looks much fancier than my uh, bubble hat. I don't know if it's as and... fancy as Snowder's uh, tiger cape, but I, I, Snowder's does appreciate your style. As soon as I get my hat back on, I tell Boston and Snowder's that I single handedly killed this scrag. <laughs> and saved them from it attacking them. Looking for some kind of praise. Taurus just rolls his eyes dramatically. It's to be expected. I also throw in expected. that I also throw in that Taurus ran like a little bitch. It's to be expected. <laughs> it's to be expected. And again, Taurus just rolls his eyes. Don't worry, guys. I I got your back. Uncle Yuri's got your back. So can we uh, tell these people that uh, their rat infestation is done? I don't know if that's the only one down there. I doubt it. Definitely putting Bobby the Schlub on punishment. Scrags are part of... Like, they're in with the Sahaguin, right? Um, so what you guys know about these, when you came to the city, somebody had mentioned that uh, there is a problem with these things. Have been, it's been dangerous to go out at night because there's been reports of creatures coming up and from the water and taking people. Um, and there's never, there hasn't been any, like, th like tie, like, any connection between these, these creatures and the Sahaguin. So are we done here, or are we going to investigate more? What do you guys want to do? So you keep looking. Because we never saw the remains of uh, the bakery lady, did we? Well, the bakery lady is alive. She was at the bar. She she gave Bobby the, the job, oh, okay. basically. Well, then, her poor fucking worker. Oh, there was a body down there down here there wasn't one up underneath the bakery but there was a blood trail didn't the blood lead into the water mm -hmm. maybe assume the uh, scrag that was eating that person that was the blood from that person no, I think it was this guy's house because this place also has blood in it 
Who knows how long that these things have been killing people here, though. They this could have been going on forever. Regardless, I think our job's done here, guys. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, the authorities know about this problem, right? Yeah, from what you guys did understand, that yeah, it's kind of a known thing. That I think it was the guards that were talking about it, so authorities know about it. Oh, well, they must know, so... Guess let's continue on. Well, in that case, I'm going to go back down, cut off the Scrag's head, and I'm going to go scare the shit out of Bobby. <laughs> we'll come up through the hole. By the time you go back down there, the, the body of the Scrag and the corpse are already kind of floated away through the with the current that's going on down here. Damn. Oh, well. <laughs> So, are we going back to the bakery, or the bar, or... I mean, we can go to the bar and tell the lady that we killed a scrag under her house. But, there might be more. Well, let's not tell her there might be more. Okay. So I hop, I hop back in the taxi or the gondola or whatever, and wait for everyone else to get in. All right. Is there anything else you guys are doing before you head back to the bar? Then we uh, swing by and get Bobby, but that's about it. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah, you guys go back, uh, take the gondola. It takes another half hour or so before you get back to the tipsy sailor. And you go there, and here's this lady. She's kind of drowning her sorrows in pint after pint of veil. And, uh, but she's excited to see Bobby and you guys go back. And she, she kind of runs over to Bobby, and she's like, uh, So these these are the guys. Is it is it done? Is it my is my bakery safe to go back to? Did you did you find my beloved Bill? And uh, Bobby looks over at uh, the rest of you guys, and he kind of like wipes some blueberry off his face, and he's like, "Um, uh, maybe you should talk to the talk to the leader here, uh, Vasen." Huh? And Bobby like shuffles to the back of the of the group. I thought Yuri was the leader. I step right out in front. Uh, yeah, problem's all taken care of. Bakery's safe, miss. Oh, oh, thank you. I'm, I'm so glad I, I, I hired you guys to do this job. But tell her I single-handedly took care of the problem, and then I hold my hand out. Uh, I really, I really do appreciate you getting rid of the rats that were there. But did you did you find Bill? Did he? There. Did he go in the hole? I I don't I don't know. I, I would like a little bit of closure. I didn't see Bill, and we searched the whole premises. Oh, thank. I don't know. I I've never seen any. I don't know anyone named Bill. No, others didn't actually go down there enough to see it, right? Because they finished. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, I'm completely lying. I know there was a body down there. <laughs> no, I understand, but Snoddlers would absolutely call you out on it, and that's why I was making sure. <laughs> well, well, that that no good for nothing. Maybe he just he just ran off with that floozy, but she sees he like boot drags after <laughs> she gets back in the yeah. thing. Well, I'm I'm he glad that you made it safe for me, gentlemen. I suppose I, could, I should go back to work and stop pissing all my money away. He probably ran like a little bitch, and then I turn around and just look at the Taurus. <laughs> I flip Fury off. Well, thank you. I'll, I'll let everybody know, then, that the Travelers are the, the best group of adventurers to call if you if you need to, a job done and, and 
done quickly and correctly. Yep, just head up to Runestone Island. So Make yep. sure you tell tell everybody that. Uh, if you guys are, you know, ever around, you could stop by the bakery, and um, I'm, I'm sure I could have all sorts of tasty treats for you. I hear the pies are good. Yeah, um, I haven't made it in a while. I, I've had some that have been sitting out for a few days now because <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't been there. And Bobby's like, <laughs> but I, I again, I thank you. So she like shakes your hands and she heads off puts her drink down and heads out of the bar well, that was a nice drink. lady I finish her drink for her <laughs> I order a drink alright yeah you head to the bar and uh so it's always a happening place at the tipsy sailor so even though it's like noon and there's a pretty good crowd here. So what's next, gentlemen? Uh, well, maybe we should uh, head back to the ship and discuss that. Maybe we should have a talk with Bobby. Where's our crew? Hmm. Wasn't he supposed to hi hire us a crew? Yeah, he, he did hire a crew. Yeah, we already paid him, too. We're getting 12. Yeah, 12. I saw skeleton crews. Crew. So, head back to the ship and regroup. Well, no. discuss what's going on. I'd rather not discuss that out here. Probably a smart okay. idea. Let's head back. All right, yeah, you guys head back to the Seagulls. It's, uh, it's at port. It's, it's a busy day. It's, like I said, it's early afternoon at this point. Uh, you see a lot of ships coming in and out, the docks, and it looks like business is uh, going pretty good at, here in Carrington. But things look like they're in tip top shape on deck, and Bobby comes strolling back, uh, all proud that he's. Was on his like first actual uh, quest with the travelers, and stuffed his face with week old pie. <laughs> he's having a great day until he's throwing his guts up later. All right, so you guys are. What are you guys doing? You're planning, making some plans. Again, it's uh, it's Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, I'll ask Bobby to go check on how long it'll be till the crew's ready. The other crew. So yeah, he lets you know he's he's gonna take care of that. So we're gonna be ready for whenever you give the word, because they were all looking for a job. I'm sure they were gonna be eager. Assuming they haven't blown all of Colo's money already. But well, I mean, like. How soon until they're ready? Like tonight, tomorrow morning. Well, they're ready now. Oh shit! All right. Okay. Uh, to our normal meeting place. Yep. To the galley we go. So, so I think the only thing we got left to do really is uh attempt to buy the rest of the ship and then get the fuck out of here when can we get the ship um say so we go buy pay and find out the soonest they can get it in the water all he said was uh how long did he say it would be done he said that the ship's gonna be done this week because they're on they're on track. Um, somebody from the, uh, the Sea Princes or the Guardians are gonna be here end of the week. The Patrouille's gonna pick it up. 
so we already got the skeleton crew so I say tonight or first thing tomorrow morning as soon as possible because in, a, in my mind we need to be far outside of Carrington when the butcher shows up agree yep we'll have to do it in the morning though all right, so how are we going to do this? We got disguises. How are we going to make us look like the butcher? No, it's not. It's not. We're just going to make everyone look like the butcher. That that doesn't really help, Snodlers. We just need one butcher. Well, Snodlers can make one butcher and several other people. Can it do more than one person? Any number of creatures. I can make this entire fucking town, as long as they're standing within 30 feet of me, look like Snodlers. Yeah, but, I, but, but we don't want 800 butchers. Yeah, you give each target you choose a new illusionary appearance. So that's going to be on DM to decide if that's all the same or not. <laughs> yeah, it totally could be. Nice. Okay, and, so we all have to not look like us, because we kind of can't be caught. Snellers agrees, so who wants to look like the Taurus? Nope, that's not, nope, nope, that's not what he said. Oh. We can't. None of us can, can be it. shown anyway. Oh! Snellers understands now, this makes sense. Uh, can I... So I spent a lot of time, we spent a decent amount of time on the pirate island, and I definitely like sat with some of those guys and like wrote down all the notes about the, uh, um, you know, all the, the, I forgot what it's called, Nightshade or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Can I. So now there's did you to... come with us to the, the house? The, at the island? We, yeah. we stayed at the little hut. I think I was with you most of the time, but I think at some point you left and I stayed back to learn about the, uh, stuff. <laughs> All the nightshade. all the ins and outs of the growing, drug stuff. Growing nightshade uh, from nightshade. Yep. Yeah. I was trying to scroll through my inventory because I still have. So you know, I was just saying you did come with us then to that. Yeah, yeah. No, I was there. So uh, what I'm meeting? asking is, can I uh, try to remember what some of they look, some of those people look like, even just in general? Yeah, yeah. I mean, just uh, just make a history check to see what he remembers from from a few weeks ago. Oh yeah, so you definitely have a good recollection of, of the, especially the one guy. I think his name was like <laughs> Billy Nelson or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. Will Will Nelson. <laughs> yeah. William Nelson. Yeah. It's, uh, Snodlers thinks he can make us look like some of the pirates that are on the, uh, uh, on the island, and Snodlers definitely saw the butcher because that guy was scary as shit. And he gave that giant speech, right? That was the butcher. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You hope it's the same right speech. Snodler thinks he knows which one was the butcher. <laughs> Snodler's can only do this once. So if I screw this up, Snodler's is screwed. Alright, so um, who's going to be the butcher? Not I. I think Snodler should. I don't think Snodler's either. I don't, can you get taller? One foot. <laughs> How big was the butcher? More than a foot. <laughs> yeah, he was, uh, he was big. like eight or nine foot tall. I don't know. You don't know if he was that tall, but he was definitely like a big. He was, I mean, he was. I think he's human, but he was like like more wide than he was tall. He was like a massive dude. Yeah. So just no snodlers can do this, but then snodlers can't do like pass wall and like get around like locks and safes and shit, or do the teleport thing unless we uh, unless we sleep. Mm. Just letting you know, but I think this is a, this. I, it's not a little six. This is the best option. Agree. Okay. So who's the uh, tallest? Bobby. Bob the schlub. It is. He's oh, the God. butcher. It's definitely not me. Oh, I know. Just was... joking, Bobby. Yeah, it, it, Bobby's not tall either, though. He's he's like dwarf height, even though he's human. That that actually tracks, you know, short man syndrome. <laughs> He's just short and round. Short and round. 
Well, Vitoris, looks like you know the information about the buying. Oh, and God. the butcher. This is true. I'm only 5'8". Well, it's not alert things you're going to be 6'8". Perfect. <laughs> am, am I the tallest person? Yeah. No, uh, I'm only 5'6". Now that Snodler's is not around. Snodler's is 3 foot 3 inches, 2 measurements. Should be okay. Depends on if he's wearing those booties or not. How tall is Vossen? Six foot. See, Vossen's the tallest. Uh, yeah, but it, by rules of not it, Vossen's not doing it. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Then not it. You're last, buddy. Sorry, you're the next tallest. Snodlers, Snodlers thinks. Snodlers is casting it. Snodlers will just use rand, random Snodlers brain to figure out who's going to do it. Oh, it's you. All right, let's do this. Well, you already know the buying and all that. That's the, that's the help part, and you know who you're talking to. Remember, I wasn't in there at all. I don't know my way around. You were in there. I saw you getting chased around by golems. And right, if... like, I had time to, to look at stuff. And if you get in trouble, you can just turn into a bear and get yourself out of it. I cannot. <laughs> bear right now is not optional. Speaking really? of which, I think I have three days, right? till the next full moon. Oh, but everyone has oh, to yeah. be on alert to murder him. <laughs> Michael murder. Wild. Can we not murder? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll get rid of Bear Taurus. The Taurus will still be fine. Yes. Steak through the heart, you know, gouge out oh, the eyes. Christ. Stuff like that. Have you guys seen any applications for the Hero Society by, by any <laughs> chance? Who? You'd fit right in over there. <laughs> yeah, actually, a actually, threat. insider threat. You make them all the bear, the bear society, and then you come back. <laughs> so, 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 if we ever do throw down with them, all of them are werebears. Uh, vampires, yeah, vampires. <laughs> all right, so yeah, that's a good plan. So here's my money. I'll slap it on the table. Two thousand. All right, oh. and here Snoddler's his money. Takes out a small bag that has like three hundred and thirty-three point three three gold. <laughs> Two thousand gold. The mines on the table. So I'm up to hold on. I put three thousand down. Pope Hector wasn't holding the ten grand, was he? No. I know he said he was going to throw in, but that's not an option anymore. And then what was? How much did you throw in? Yuri? Uh, three grand. Yep, that's enough. Are you throwing in at all, Colos? Well, are we short? How much do you need? Depends on if I want to be broke or not. Yes and no. I'm throwing in five grand. Whatever you throw in, it's just going to go back in my pocket. God damn, Batoris, you've been holding out on us. Snodlers has zero now. Why does he get all the money? I'll give Snodlers back his 333 gold. <laughs> and 33 Batoris silver. Batoris hasn't fucking bought anything. And three silver. I'll even throw an extra silver in for you, Snodlers. 33. So that's 34. Snodlers, like, that's hold his hand out. I'll give you 500 gold. Vitoris, not Snodlers. Snodlers gets out of him. It's like it's just picture as soon as you say that Snodlers hands out. Like I'll take it. Oh, for sure, hundred <laughs> percent. Or wait, wait, wait. It's it was twenty grand, right? Yeah. Hold on a second. There. Twenty, 20. grand. So we need to get to ten, plus the ten we have. Oh, yep, yeah, that's what I was missing. Okay. Also, we should probably give like a small tip. <laughs> Snodlers thinks we should tip. Isn't that customary here? I did not ask about tipping. What do you, what is what do you mean by tip? Like maybe they'll tip. accept just the tip. Like give them free you free gold on purpose. I, it's is not it free. 15, is it a normally fifteen percent? Well, I'm I, Snodlers isn't sure. Like in the Underdark, we don't do that. But I know this weird ass place. They keep talking about tipping and just the tipping and all this other shit. Like 
I just figure like me, they did something really good and really fast. It makes sense, right? Like what happens if they need more? Like you might need to have backup money. I hear that talk at the Pink Pearl. I have the the extra ten grand, right? Yeah. All right. Fifteen percent tip is six grand. Oof. Yeah, throw it right in there, Vitoris. I don't have another six grand, Gary. I don't just shit out cold. All right, so we got the twenty grand. I could do my own uh, disguise self, so that'll uh, not maybe not confuse snodlers as much. Oh, look, confused Snoddlers. That's, I can do it for eight hours and then we're done. Unless Snoddlers doesn't have to do it at all. It doesn't make sense for you to do it. I can only do it myself. Well, then why don't I do it on your behalf? And it lasts eight hours and no one has to think about it. All right, but I swear, if we all end up as Snoddlers again... No, no, no. No, I promise. No, ma no, no bunch of Snoddlers? Now, are all of us going? If it's yes. just you, all right. We all are going because we got to get on the ship and get the fuck out. Stalin's yeah. agrees. So, I... like, when we do this, we're sailing out of here. We're not coming back. <laughs> we're taking the ship and leaving. Yep. And I'd say have Bobby follow behind us because it's not a warship. If we get attacked, it's just us. That, and then we can leave straight from Car No, no, uh, Liara. Not character. So, this is our last uh, hurrah here, so we need to... Wait, wait, wait. I th Snoddler thought we were going to port back here to elude suspicion. Why would you port back here? If Because there's a chance the Butcher will be here if we port back here. And then we, we couldn't have possibly have stolen it if we're here still, right? Butcher's not going to be on Runestone Island. Actually, though. he probably will be here because it ta it'll take like four or five days to get there. Either oh. way, do, don't we have to get the... Uh, you already know the symbol for the teleporting here, right? Yeah, Stoddlers should be good with that. Okay. Idea. Mm -hmm. right, as long as you know the portal to get back here. And the Mage Hut, as I, like, polished the uh, thing on my hat. Mage Hut. I forgot what it's called. Snoddlers forgot what it was called. <laughs> yeah, the Mage Place. Yeah, the Mage Place. The Mage mage Hut. So we're going to get that, get the money, get the ship, and then just head right to the era. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do after that when we get there. Are we leaving the ship here? I thought... You were hiring another crew to sail the other ship. I am. So then, why would we leave the ship? Okay. There's there's less chance of us having an issue with the butcher if we're already gone. Mm hmm. So yeah, just have the have Bobby follow us, I guess. So are we all going to be on the same ship, or are we going to be on different ships? No, we're all going to be on the the. The hooker ship. The, the pledging lady, yep. Yeah. The hooker ship. Pledging lady. I keep calling it the prancing lady. Yeah, so we're all be on that ship. Except for Bobby and the original Our normal, crew. Our mm -hmm. normal crew. But what's left of the original crew? Oh, I got a couple things. We also shouldn't sail directly east from here. Right, that's where Liar is. Right. Okay. East ish. Right. We shouldn't sail directly east because once the butcher comes, they're just gonna be like, Well, where'd the ship go? East, well he's gonna chase us. So we go west and then north and then east. Probably right. north because west is land. He yes, that'll do that. <laughs> he shows up and this ship's just beached. <laughs> Like, you can see it beached. Huh. Well, yeah, we can hit sail either in... Which... 
the pirate islands, they're sort of like northeast of here, right? Yeah, well, we can pull up the map. I mean, are we gonna just cruise around the ocean with the ship? No, I would recommend. Let me see. Literally getting over the horizon and then turning east. Yeah, I'd say like sail southeast until Carrington's like far in the distance and then immediately turn for Liara that way because he's coming from the north that way when he comes down to Carrington do we what's do we know what's down south on this continent no I mean Hector probably does yeah he probably does but uh cause I mean I can give him a I can give them like a false like yeah we're gonna sail to uh whatever but I don't know of anything south of here if there was a port south of here I could drop that and then hopefully they get lost heading south while we're in reality heading east ish tell them we're going anywhere tell them we're going to Casador Yeah, I don't think having them come after us in the same general direction is a good idea. So, I do like the plan. Go southeast until Carrington's out of our vision by a long ways. And then turning towards Liara. Well, we've got... Because we can't do this till tomorrow, right? I mean... That was my other thing. We should probably send one of us in as, like, the scout, if you will, for I the don't... Sea Princess. You mean as a scout? Like, go in, hey, I'm here representing the Butcher. Is the ship ready? He's going to be here tomorrow morning to pick it up, etc., etc. You mean right now? As well, in right now, somebody goes and does that. No, like, he'll be here right soon. So, uh, it's not all those things we need to do this ASAP. Like, why wait? Well, he meant, uh, he meant like if it's not ready, like Butcher's going to be here at nine a.m. tomorrow, so have it ready. Right. Which because if fine. we just go strolling in there right now, they might not have it ready till tomorrow anyway. They might have, you know, it takes time to get the ship in the water. I'm assuming. Understood. Another and give good them, idea. Giving them, give them a heads up. Stallers, have you got the uh, teleportation figured out? Or is there any research you need to do? Because it sounds like tonight will be the only night to do it. What do you mean? I mean, I know how to get back here. Is that All good right. enough? Yeah, I just didn't know if there was more you needed to learn or figure out. Yeah, I'm sure there is, but we're probably good for now. Unless there's something special you want me to do. Nope. Did he ever, Vasa? Did he ever tell you why he they were summoning demons in the house? No, they never uh, really went into detail. They weren't happy. That's all I know. That it's ours, or that somebody went in there. Our house? You're talking about the people that were doing the crazy shit there? Yeah, because one of them was the, or at least he showed up in the paintings was the. Guild master of the mages guild. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It wasn't the guild master. It was just someone who was in there. Uh, it was just someone a member. Jesus. What happened is the dogging. The mages guild found out about this because they shut themselves off from the guild. So then they went and investigated and uh, found out that they were being foolish, summoning demons, and they ended up getting killed in the process. So this is when the mages guild they put the. Uh, the protection barrier around the place and sealed it off. Oh, so they were happy we didn't break the that we broke the protection barrier. Yeah, they were pretty happy about that. Well, I mean, we killed Who's them they? in there. Your your homies, the uh, the mages guild. Yeah. I just for some reason I had it in my head that the the guy who's in charge of at least this section here in uh, Carrington, like it was his picture on the walls with the woman. Yeah, the the leader of the place. He 
he was with her, you know, but he was not the guy that was. Oh, that was gotcha, a separate gotcha, picture. Gotcha. There was multiple pictures. There was one of him and her, but then the, all the other pictures were the her and two other dudes that they had a little, little, little thing going on. Menage toi. Nope, that's the only words I know. <laughs> all right, so who's gonna go be the messenger? Not it. Not it. I will go. Oh, it's not worth it. Well, if you have to go, then, and Snowlers has to do it, then only you are getting the thingy. So that seems like it's risky. And then we'll be able to do it tomorrow morning, correct? Unless we have to do it tonight. What What are you guys talking about? I thought that we're not leaving till tomorrow morning. Snoddler's thing, someone who can do it to themselves is the only way to do it. Because what happens if they find out that it's ready now and the butcher is already set to pick it up tomorrow? Snoddler's can't do it a second time. That's a good point. Oh, just needs more work for a Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Bear Taurus. Remember, though, if you get stuck... And you get captured. Snoddlers will help free you when you become Bear Taurus in three days. Well, I mean, I always suppose you could just disguise yourself as whomever, right? Yeah, yeah. that's how it'll work. I'm not going to go there as the butcher. Oh, there as go back. <laughs> no. <laughs> you mean the dead guy? They don't know. They they don't know he's dead. <laughs> Best any of us knew he was in a barrel. <laughs> yeah, he's in a barrel. Maybe it's in did someone's we, glass by now. What is? Did we, like, <laughs> bury that, didn't we bury that barrel or something? Yeah, I think you guys had Hedgewick take care of it, or uh, not Hedgewick, uh, Eleander. Because no, I remember Vossen told uh, told his gnomes they were like, "Do not, do not sell that barrel. <laughs> We've marked it. Don't sell it." Mmm, I like it. Smoky. A little bit of earthy. Yeah, it reminds me of Corpse. What, Pleasant? Alright, so, uh, that's the plan. How far, how long will it take me to get there? It'll probably take you a good half hour to get all the way across the other side of the city by gondola. All right, I'll make my way, start making my way over there. When he's doing that, I guess we'll get the ship ready to uh, depart as quickly as possible. Okay. We got to get materials and shit, or do we already get the ship stocked? I don't know, your quartermaster's leaving. I don't, I think the only thing we need to top off on would be like maybe like food, things like that. We haven't used any ballista bolts. We haven't really used any planks or anything like that. So uh, that's more along those referring to is make sure you have supplies to get where we got to go. I'm sure if you want, you could have Bobby go out in the town and make preparations. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> it's a yeah, terrible maybe. idea. Great idea. <laughs> maybe we ought to have a little talk with Bobby and. Explain to him why he's working for free from now on. I mean, I guess I'll do that then. I'll go uh, acquire the shit we need. Food and stuff. Do you need gold? No. Oh, wait. Do we have, like, a, a small chest or something like that? Well, or are we just going to, like, dump this pile of gold out at his feet and be like, here you go? I mean, it's not well, all this holding. I'm sure you could acquire all the, the stuff you, in town that you need for, you know, probably like 30 gold. You can get all the supplies for, for the crew for a week-long voyage. Uh, taking 30 gold away. And, uh, oh, uh, yeah. He's got to be for, for two ships, though, right? Yeah, I mean, it's literally just enough for a week for you guys to get across to to get home. And... The other ship should have enough for just five days, right? 
Yeah, because they're, they're just going to Liara. All right. So we 30 gold is coming out of my stash. We don't care if the other crew starves anyway. Well, we're the other crew, so... We're, we're manning the other ship. Bobby's taking the ship with all the supplies. I'm really scared now. That's what I mean if Bobby's crew stars, but obviously they're not going to if they have all the supplies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, and then uh, there, is that, there is that little floating resupply place. I forgot what it was called. That we stopped in on the way over here. Yeah. That we only had 30 minutes to nice. do what we needed to do. Wasn't enough time. All right, so the, the plan, that's a good plan. All right, so Boston's out taking care of that. Um, the Torres, you're headed up to the Van Zagrams. Yep. Um, you guys, the rest of you guys doing anything in particular? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to go out and walk the town. All right. Yeah, I mean, how far are we from feet? fast oh you're right on the edge of town so like on the edge of the market so like you guys are are docked here and feet fest is right here you could probably go hit up feet fest check out the, the town. Ooh, I'm, I'm sure your uh, last night at feet fest what's gonna happen little... i'm gonna go i need to go get a tattoo <laughs> nice. i'm gonna go get a gnarly ass face tattoo <laughs> feet fast one. <laughs> Just a giant foot. Yep, giant foot. Footprint on the side of your face. I'm sure uh, Colos is going to go check out the smiling Drake. His... I mean, I was going to walk around town wherever my feet went. That's where I was going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah. That's where I ended up. That's where I ended up. All right, so... Um... Yuri goes to get a tattoo. So Yuri, tell us about your tattoo then, before we continue with the story here. I gotta know now. Where where are you getting a tattoo? At the. No, yeah, there's a tattoo At... artist there. I I just grabbed like where, yeah. like on your body. Where's what kind of tattoo is Yuri getting? I'm gonna get travelers tattooed, right around my throat <laughs> it's like pretty bad underneath it's gonna be kind of underneath my beard but it's gonna be there i'm trying to see i had information on on the uh the people there and that's right out where we where we fought the giant strong guy and all that, right? I don't know what you would call, call yeah, that. Yeah, like in the, the the market there with all the different vendors and the stalls. All right, I see. So Yuri has a cool ass uh, traveler's tattoo. That's his true dedication, devotion to the to the traveler's guild. <laughs> nice. And I'm rocking the shit out of my little. Uh, Cloak, too. Your little what? Oh, your cloak? My, your, cl yeah, my your, cloak. Your manta ray yeah. cloak. Yuri strutting around Pete Fest like he owns that piece. Alright, Vittorius, you make your way up to the Van Zagram's Guild. Now, this is probably starting to get um, afternoon, mid to late afternoon. And uh, you approach and you still see um, the workers out there they're like and out and about on the docks doing their thing and you uh, you go up to the front office of the place that you were kind of snooping around with in a few days ago I recognize that place how's the ship look oh god the golems are out <laughs> Calums oh, are, shit. The columns are not out. They're fucking attack on Titan ones. Yeah, they like uh, come out at night. Let's, so let's, let's take a miniature break. I'll uh, jump on my phone, but uh, no guarantees I'll be talking. Okay. Someone's got poop. 
Followers has to poop. All right, so Vitoris, you cast this guy self outside before any of them see me, preferably away from all prying eyes. And who are you looking like? Um, who do we got? Anyone important who wasn't the butcher? Drake. No ice sword. No, not, not Drake. <laughs> sword. Jesus, you guys are really fucking shoot for the fences. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Not that important. You're, you're supposed to be like a little inconspicuous, right? Oh, what? Inconspicuous. <laughs> oh, there you go. Just a random pirate okay. that I saw on the island. No one in specific. Do you have an eye patch at least? Uh, I can make it look like I have one. Are you wearing a red sash? I look like I'm wearing a red sash. Nice. You make yourself, including your clothing, armor, weapons, and other belongings on your person look different until the spell ends or until you use an action to dismiss it. Right. I'll be my same height. Well, you make up. You make your way up to the main house. and uh, Yes, the golems are not there. The, the workers are actually there. And uh, you hear them like working away on other projects and from where you can tell from as you enter like the, the shipyard, the ship looks like it's complete. It's got everything it needs. It's even got the sails all, um, I don't know, set into their, to the mass. And you walk up the steps to the main house and enter into the small office. And you see Gavin Van Zagram, the kind of the guy that's in charge. He's the son of the actual, the owner of the place, the old man. Uh, as you walk in, he kind of looks up and he goes, uh, uh, can, I, can I help you? Wondering if my captain's ship's ready. Oh, yeah. You, you must be here for the uh, the Sea Princess. Yeah, yeah. she's a beaut. One of the finest ships we've put together in quite some time. Not since the Silent Raider have we made such a, a fine-looking ship. She's got a nice hull. She'll hold up for your, for your captain. Real, real nice, but... Yeah, she should be all set now. How soon can uh, she be put to sea? Oh, well, you, the, the crew is uh, about ready to go home, so it's going to take a few hours to get her in uh, into the water. But, uh, you know, if you, if you want to do it, you know, we, c we can make it happen tonight. If the, the price is right, I can have these guys save for a little OT. How early tomorrow could you have it ready to sail? Oh, first first thing in the morning she could be ready to go, but... Perfect. Then my captain will be by in the morning with the rest of your money. Oh, well, I appreciate that now. Be careful, though. I, I hear tomorrow there's a big storm headed in. We've sailed the seas, but we'll keep that in mind. Well, that's that's good to know. Well, I will see you bright and early in the morning. Have all the paperwork ready for your uh, for your delivery. The guys will have her all lifted and ready to drop in the water first thing in the morning. So you uh, make sure you have a crew, and uh, we'll call it a fair trade. Sounds like a plan. I plan. I thank you, sir. Can't wait to see how she handles. Uh, make sure you bring that gold with you too my friend what well, will be brought 20,000 correct 20,000 it will be here in the morning I think last time we were here these were guards not workers uh, those are the guards I just have taken them off the map <laughs> I know that what oh wait no is that the one that was still in the building or is this the one that was chasing Vossen around up here. That would probably help if I had fucking select instead of pan view. Uh, I think that's the one that was chasing, just chasing Vossen uh, around. Yeah, those are the golems up there. And then there's, yeah, there's a guard over here. Yeah, those are the guards. But yeah, you're walking about. There's, there's a bunch. There's probably a good like thirty or so workers out here, and they're all moving about. And uh, it's definitely a little bit different during the day than than at nighttime. And not running for your life from yeah. three giant golems. 
Or wait, no, we only had two. I found out later there was a third one. Third one's in the barn, yeah. Yeah, so Gavin says, oh, well, we'll see you in the morning. Um, I'll let my father know that the, all the preparations are made, and we look forward to doing more business with you in the future. Yes. See you first thing at first light. All right, so he goes back to doing his paperwork or whatever. Oh. Everything seems legit at the uh, Van Zagram Shipwreck Guild. I'll say as long as they don't object, I'll take a quick walk around the ship. Yeah, so the guards are out there. They they kind of watch you, but you know they know. I don't touch anything. Are. I'm not I'm not trying to climb ladders. I'll just take a look. She does appear to be a damn fine ship. Yeah, the ship's uh, looking ready. Like they said, like they're ready to to hoist it up and take a little while for them to coordinate putting the thing into the water. But uh, the sails are on and all the. Everything's there. All right, I will make my way out of there. They have like a compound; it's walled off, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll walk out of the compound, and the second I'm out of sight of anyone, I'll drop a uh, disguise self and take a gondola back to the base, or back to the seagulls. Yeah, back to the ship. So you guys get back. You're back to the ship, and it's probably evening time. And I'm assuming at some point you guys are all gonna. You know, finish up your downtime activities and make your way back to the ship. That's the plan. Is there any, uh, on my way through town, is there anyone selling, like, uh, cloth? Uh, sure, of course. I want to buy some, it can be cheap, like, cheap red cloth to possibly make sashes just to make the, uh, new crew appear authentic. Yeah, so I mean, you probably would buy a whole um, ream of red fabric for a silver piece. I'll pick that up on my way through. Go back to the ship, but after getting my tattoo, I decided to get some more random little doodles drawn on my face. Like, <laughs> like Post Mike, Malone, or my, yeah, or Mike Tyson. <laughs> just like so I can... tattoos, or just henna, like no, one. no, these are real. These are permanent. <laughs> like when he got drunk and someone drew a penis on his forehead. <laughs> permanent penis on your forehead. All right, so Yuri. Uh... You you had a little good time at Feet Fest. I'm sure you stopped by, got yourself some some uh, some rat jerky, and checked out some of the bare knuckle boxing fights. And you really enjoyed his last day at Carrington. Guaran guaranteed everyone that I was gonna win the team, the final team battle. Even though I don't plan on even being there. Oh yeah, we probably should link up with. Oh, wait, no, we talked to them already, right? Brock and uh, Lightning. Yeah, they're off to getting the guild ready. Perfect. I mean, is this gonna soil the travelers' names that we bail out on the last arena fight, though? Or do we not care? We did the last big arena fight. There's just more arena fights. There's a finals at the end of the week. But yeah, whatever. I don't want to be here at the end of the week. Well, if we're getting the boat, I mean, it's a no-brainer, but I'm just wondering if it's going to ruin our name here. Are you afraid no one's going to show up at Roomstone Island? Wait, 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 wait. It's not unless that's a great idea. Are we going to be able to get back to uh, the main... Um, the main... The main uh, place? Like, before the end of the week? Maybe yeah, I don't. Know. I probably won't be able to get back here. That's gonna take a couple of days it. to sail to Lyra. If we make it, we could port a whole bunch of B team down here. Bam! Instant. <laughs> we have to get back to Salt Marsh first, though. Unless we happen to have B team members in Liara. Well, you have Brock and uh, Bright. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, we have half of us right there. You have a bear and a tiger. No, bear, bear Taurus is with us. <laughs> and Bear Taurus. Bear Taurus isn't a bear yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't turn that on and off. Like, Snodlers is always a deep gnome. You're always a bear Taurus. It's okay. I haven't turned into a bear yet. You are a bear Taurus. Just, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Like, step one is acceptance. Wait, is that step seven? Uh, Snodlers is not sure. But I mean, that's not like next time we show up in uh, Salt Marsh, that wouldn't be a bad idea if we had a. If we've got a lot, maybe send some of them over here to give them a jump start. Uh, yep, I'll let them know once everyone's back that, uh, yeah, in the morning, first thing they're going to drop this pig into the water. So. Tell him I got some uh, red cloth so we can make some sashes for the uh, other crew to pretend. Hand over the money. Get a new ship. Get the F out. Get the F out. Feels like half the campaign's taking place in this city. All right, so anything else you guys are doing before we uh, take you guys take your long rest and get up in the morning? Asking Yuri what the fuck he did to his face. <laughs> I can move one of these things around. Oh, that's my owl. Yuri, what'd you do to your face? mean what I do to my face I just kind of like what's with all the markings these are the markings of a leader <laughs> what exactly is on your face again some random doodling oh Jesus Christ like, like there's like a X plot. there's some just random like tear teardrop yeah like a teardrop, a little flame, a plus sign. Everyone's going to think the travelers are ex cons. And then I lift up my beard to show them my gnarly neck tattoo. What's, what's that say? It says travelers. <laughs> uh, oh, Not is excited that at least they can identify the body and where to send it. Is it Travelers written in common, or is it written in, in Dwarvish? It's it's written in common. He wants everyone to know where to send the body back to, not just dwarves. All right, so you guys all rendezvous to the ship, head in for the night, get your long rest, and you wake up in the morning. It's a nice Thursday morning. A cool breeze kind of starts coming in. But you guys get up early. And you head up to the Shipwrights Guild. Unless there's something else you want to do on the way. Probably have a uh, meet up with the crew. The temporary crew hand out sashes so they can play their part. All right, yeah. And then uh, should probably let Bobby know to sail out ahead of us or give them a meeting point for us to meet up. No. Makes sense to me. Choose a point somewhere down in the <coughs> southeast where we can meet up and then we'll sail together to Liara. All right, it sounds like you guys have a plan. Yeah, look, Bear Taurus, like you are now the butcher, so whatever you say goes, Snodlers will follow you. 
You have to get in the role. It's not as learned. That's important whenever you do this type of thing. The uh, the the arena is taught. Not always What's that. everyone look like? Uh, the way they were before, because no one told me to do anything yet. Oh, oh, we're gonna. All right. So I. Guess... I... Snollers is waiting for his command by a butcher. How long does it last? Eight hours. Probably shouldn't. Well, no, we've been here for a while. We probably shouldn't do it on the ship. So, Vitoris, I, I also failed to mention that you wake up this morning and you, like, your sense of smell is heightened. And uh, you feel like your facial hair has uh, grown like exponentially faster. Nice. I'm going to have a nice little... Uh, I'm... My goal is to rival Yuri's beard. Unless he's a shaven gnome or dwarf. Yeah, you have like a nice beard coming in already, but it's like really patchy and hobo looking. <sighs> It'll get there. I walk up to Vitoris and just rub it and laugh. Tell him it looks cute and walk walk away. <laughs> All right, so I'm assuming uh, Bobby the Schlub and the crew, they take the Seaghost and start heading off as uh, the rest of you guys make your way by gondola, I'm assuming, up to the Van Zagram Guild. Yep. Did Snodlers make everyone look good now? Yeah, I'd say at some point, we're in, whenever uh, if we found like a alley or something on the way, it takes you, what, 10 minutes? Uh, six seconds. That's one action. Jesus. Can you make me look like the butcher's assassin? The that female? Was... He didn't have an assassin. That was uh the gang leader that we're given the ship to. That's the only one I can remember. No, I thought there was a female that like had a badass ship, and we kept looking for her. Oh yeah, that's my girlfriend, Joy Sword. <laughs> so I always isn't sure if uh, having two people be high profile is a smart idea. Probably not. I doubt she wants to give her body to Yuri either. We could talk. We could talk to her, but Vitoria doesn't want to give us the shell phone. I never said I wouldn't give it to them. I said you're not getting the shell phone. So yeah, um, once we get off, we'll go somewhere quiet, and then uh, have Stoddlers do his magic. Alright, yeah, and you guys uh, all turn yourself into dirty looking pirates. Cast it. I thought all rituals were ten minutes. It's not a ritual, it's a spell. That's oh, why I, I can't was... do the teleportation circle after this. Oh, I thought it was a ritual for some no. reason. Um, I will say that I, on our way over there, I will be doing telepathic bond between all of us. So probably, should, probably should have done it with Bobby too. But oh well. I'll have the. In fact, I regret not doing it with Bobby now. What's the <laughs> what's what's the range on that? I think it's like in the thirty realm. feet or something. No, oh, I do you after cast it is thirty feet? Otherwise, here, just let me display it. I, it's as long as you're on the same plane of existence, it's a hundred percent chance. Damn. One action plus ten minutes. That's because that one's a ritual. I don't have it prepared. Hey, communication is possible for any distance, though it can't extend to other planes. So that's awesome. That would have been it's only handy. It's only for an hour, though. Yeah, and that's one reason why I wasn't worried uh, about it. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. we got closer. Because by the time you guys get, you know, it's a half hour to get to just to the Van Zagrams anyway. <laughs> then get it ready to sail. It's already dropped. If I have a telepathic bond, <clears throat> can I use a telepathic bond to link to the people I... I'm just kidding. Um, Do we have an old chest or something like that? So we can put the money in that and have a couple of you carry it. I'm assuming we picked one up in town last night. Yeah, we'll go with that. All right. Yeah. Because we were talking about it before we all went out and did our stuff. All right. I'll have Kolos and uh, the dwarf. I can carry it. Or whoever. 
Is it? All right. Then we make our way to Van Zagren's. I would like Snuggler to look like a dirty halfling pirate. All right, I like it. So yeah, you guys show up uh, bright and early, and it, as you guys arrive, the the ship you see it's like suspended, and it's already like getting placed into the water. And uh, you see, like the the workers are like a well oiled machine. They're like going around. They know exactly like what they're supposed to be doing. They've done this before. And uh, Gavin, he's kind of overseeing the whole operation. Uh, and even for this, um, the father, um, he. Um, Goddard is his name. He is uh, outside. He's kind of held himself up uh, by a cane and he's kind of watching over the whole situation. And uh, you see him kind of like yelling some orders, but nobody seems to be paying any attention. But as you guys like make your way into the actual shipyard, you see this whole spectacle as this ship is being lifted. And Gavin notices you guys uh, showed up. And uh, you see the guards also. They're all kind of standing a little bit on edge as you guys uh, enter but Gavin sees you approaches you guys and uh, he says good morning gentlemen the pledging lady is almost ready all I need now is your uh, is payment and uh, I will sign her off to you I make a dismissive gesture towards uh, Vasen to hand the money over uh, bring the uh, the old trunk of gold to the motherfucker. Uh, so he has some of his one of his uh, guards comes over and they they grab a hold of the uh, the chest and drag it over. Uh, they open it up and they look in. They don't count it, but they do see there's a hefty amount of gold in there. And then Gavin looks at uh, at you guys and he's like, "Well." Oh, uh, I'm assuming it's all there. I, uh, I, I know we both of our parties have a reputation to uphold, and you wouldn't want it to be uh, to spoiled. Uh, you know, I do have many connections, but that you do, good sir. That's why I have body ship from you. So where's the paperwork? How soon will it be in the water? All right, so I, so. He gives the nod to the the guys, and they start dropping into the waters. The the guard and starts carrying the chest, and he uh, he has you, uh, Victorious, come with him into the um, into the to the office. And uh, he just has you sign the paperwork that says that you've taken delivery of the of the ship. I do not sign my name. <laughs> Vitoris, wait a minute. Nope. But uh, so he he looks, and makes sure that paperwork signed, um, the payment is made. He you know he puts it in a ledger and uh, he goes out to shake, goes over to shake your hand. Shake it. My arm should be the same size, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yep, I give him a good, good hearty <laughs> handshake. And then he he looks at you and he says. Uh, I do remember being a little bit taller, but life at sea must be a little difficult, huh? It can be, it can be. It also could be my legends going around, you know? Yeah. Everyone thinks the famous people are taller than they actually are. Well, I, I can say uh, I was worried about doing business with, uh, with the sea princes, but... If uh, business transactions like this go as smooth as in the future, um, perhaps uh, we'll be doing more business together. I look forward to it. And at this point, you see that the old man, he's sitting in like a chair in the corner, and he's kind of like, <clears throat> oh, you got fucking pirates of the bitches. I'm liking that old man. And then, uh, so he, he leads you out, and uh, the guards are kind of still standing there watching over over you as they escort you outside and the uh, the ship gets put in the water and it's she's seaworthy and everybody starts cheering and uh, all the all the workers are shaking hands and stuff and they uh is that I order it's all yours I, I thank you sir and I immediately start ordering my crew to prep the ship for sale oh 
I'll lean over and ask him. I'm like, you got, uh, wh what's down to the south here? Below Carrington. Oh, the, the uh, the, the free cities of, uh, Freya and, uh, Marketh. Uh, other than that, there's, uh, there's a lot less inhabitants, folks, down there. You know, the Caradusian barons take up a massive a part of this continent. It's the largest desert in all of, uh, all of Cardova. So are you looking to uh, expand our, uh, our reputation? <laughs> that I am. That I am. I thank you again, sir, but I believe it's time to see how well she handles in the water. I give him one last shake of the hand. Uh, he shakes your hand and says, uh, "All right, safe travels if you're heading to the south. Um, it sh you should be safe. You probably will be able to outrun the storm. It's uh, blowing in from the north. It's a real mighty cold wind blowing in from the frigid north." Good thing we're heading south then. And then uh, he says, "Safe travels," and he lets you guys go as you uh, make your way up onto the ship and start heading off. Uh, when when we're out of earshot range, and I'm gonna look around, like we like look at him. Snobbler thinks you're an idiot for calling him sir. Do you think the pirate god would call this guy sir? <laughs> what is this fucking Harry Potter? I just think fuck off, Snobblers. Wait. Did I hear it because of the telepathic bomb? Yeah, yeah, you heard it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a uh, few Get hours. The... I'll just start giving out orders to get the ship prepped. Shake our asses. Hey, yeah, just expect this. A few hours later, you guys rendezvous down uh, with Bobby to the southeast. Does he have all of our supplies? He has all the supplies. Should maybe get a few of those. Well, yeah, we at least need the food. So I'm assuming you guys uh, get close enough where you can send some rowboats across and figure out exactly what you're gonna, uh, what you're gonna need. And... Just enough food to get us and the other twelve to. Liara, let them know that there's a storm blowing in from the north, so it should be interesting. Is this the pledging lady? This is the pledging lady next to the sea ghost. Granted, she doesn't have any sails, but use your imagination. Not always thinks this ship won't go very fast. <laughs> it has a motor. <laughs> oh, it's not listening to this old fucking cruise. <laughs> fucking jet boat, it... Faerun. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Does is is this where all the water goes that they're ripping out from the city, like straight out of the back of this thing? <laughs> yeah, it's like a jet. They boat. made their own jets. <laughs> their navy could, like, if they actually could do that, it'd take like two days to cross over to Faerun. I mean, technically, Snodlers learned some some of the how-to. Snodlers could probably make a jet now. I'm just just pointing this out. <laughs> teleportation circles on the back of the boat with a super teleportation circle with an amplifying dome underneath the thing. <laughs> God. The, the, sea ghost, the sea ghost might rip apart, though. Oh, for sure. We'd go plaid and then just disintegrate. Or you'd get just a little too much air, and then you'd slam back down. It'd be fun for about ten seconds, though. Aye, but we'd win for ten seconds in a race. That we would. So I guess once we get the uh, enough supplies to get us to Liara, uh, tell Bobby to follow us, and let him know that there's a storm coming from the north, and off we go to Liara. All right. It's not always driving. Snodlers is definitely driving. Absolutely. Snodlers is standing on the wheel like usual, using his feet and weight to like turn the wheel, <laughs> so that way you can see over it like a an old lady in the car. Oh, because your box is on the other ship. Oh yeah, for sure. This thing has no weapons, correct? Correct. It's a pleasure ship. So it doesn't need weapons. The only <laughs> weapon is right here. That's all I need to say. Do, don't, don't, don't burn the ship. 
we, we can't damage the ship. Otherwise, Pink we'll just get Pinkerton back in multiple boxes. All right, I mean, so someone can do mending on Pinkerton, right? <laughs> yeah. Don't think that's how that spell works, yeah. but okay. I'd ask Hector, but he's not here. So off to Liara. All right. So, quick question though: mm -hmm. What happens if he is in more pieces than just his ear missing? We get an awesome boat. The fuck? What do we do with a pleasure cruise liner? Are you kidding? We could make so we'll much money. We'll open our own casino. Sir Colos would be the captain of that ship. <laughs> casino slash hooker ship. Absolutely. I'll take a look through, like on our way up north when we got some spare time, I'll take a look through the ship. See, uh, as he says, this is the finest ship they've ever made, right? Yeah, that's, since the uh, the Silent Raider. That would be Joy Sword ship. Mm-hmm. So I'll I'll take a walk through and see uh see if the uh if they can uh walk the walk. Yeah, I mean you look through and it's definitely like beautifully handcrafted. You can see the butcher wanted all these like details and like very fine um, high end wood and and carvings inside. I mean you go into the uh, the captain's quarters and there's really like these very ornate you know furniture in there the desk is uh, beautifully crafted with like sculptures of like uh, uh, of like octopus and stuff that are like holding up the legs this thing is it's definitely a, a pimp ass uh, ship sadly uh, we are getting rid of it in exchange for a gnome Longo thinks that's important I agree. Pinkerton's all right. He could show less ass, though. To the north we go. All right, so you guys uh, head north, and it takes about... Or east. Yeah, northeast. east, yep. So it is now Friday. Wait, is that, is that the night of the full moon? No, it's a day away still. Okay. Whew. It's been two days since the, the lycanthropy is starting to set in. But this morning, you guys, again, you take a long rest. You take turns uh, taking watch, making sure that, you know, the butcher isn't coming. Nobody's following you. Uh, but, uh, again, Vittorius, you wake up and uh, you, you start feeling like you're uh, your whole body is starting to ache a little bit. You're, you're feeling... Um, definitely not like yourself. You're feeling a little bit more energized, but at the same time, you, you look down, you feel like uh, you're already feeling this cumbersomeness. Like, even though you don't really look anything different, but you feel heavy. You and you you have this this feeling of uh, this uh, again, like this this coat of fur, this warmth coming across your body. Uh, you notice. Do I have some, more body hair? Yeah, you have more body hair, and you have like this in very intense uh, this keen sense of smell now i mean you, you start smelling yuri from like across the ship oh god this is going to be bad if i could smell yuri from anywhere in the, on this plane of existence uh, sure vaska smells pretty right because he always looks homeless right <laughs> yeah uh, i think i'm yeah yeah pretty much i think i'm back to wearing the regs we're not washing. But it's pretty early in the morning. The crew is, is happy. Everybody is um, you know, going about their day. This is this morning is shaping up to be. It's going to be uh, a, a wonderful day. So who's piloting the other ship? It's Bobby's probably steering the other ship. Yep. We got Bobby and the rest of the crew. We're on the, uh, the lady... Uh, yeah, so bright and early in the morning, and you guys get up, you're having breakfast, things are looking good. There's no sign of trouble, anything going on. But um, you see in the distance, coming from like uh, the northwest, you can see the clouds approaching of this this massive storm. It looks like it's like taking up the entire horizon. Uh, 
but as you guys are kind of focused on that, all of a sudden you start seeing uh, something up ahead in the water. You're, you're seeing this like, kind of shimmering, almost uh, wavy, like almost like a churning of the water in a, quite a large area, probably about a, a hundred yards uh, in diameter. Churning water's bad, right, guys? Pretty sure it's not I mean, good. Scholars and you have seen turning water being bad and good. I still want to risk the ship. If this thing sinks, that's it. Pinkerton's dead. So with it with the water churning, all of a sudden you start seeing these massive tentacles start coming up out of the water. And this thing just starts to begin to uh submerge from the depths you see this giant mouth open up and hundreds of sharp razor sharp teeth as this thing erupts just off the uh the the starboard starboard side of the sea ghost Uh, left has four letters in it poor that's how i remembered it actually i learned that from you uh, but all of a sudden you see this massive uh, these tentacles come out of the water and this massive mouth open up and this, this huge tidal wave just starts spewing over the uh, the side of the of the sea ghost as this creature emerges from the deep oh fuck dun 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 oh god looks like it's oh. fucking Resident Evil when the water started churning up ahead, I started to uh, do my 10 minute cast. So you're one minute into it? <laughs> <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to attempt to get it done before we get there. So you see this thing just come out of the water, and you see these tentacles are start lash, lashing out towards the sea ghost as you guys Thank are, God. As you guys are on the uh, Pledging Lady just watching this. Um, oh wait, which one's the which one? We're on the pledging lady. This one, the sea ghost is ours with Bobby and the rest of the crew. Uh, so Snollers wants to yell out that everyone, everyone, come close. So we got to. You're what at the someone. wheel? Yeah. I'm driving. All right, let's let's roll for initiative. There's no chance of me getting this uh, cast off, right? No, not not when this thing kind of minutes? was after uh, dead. Yeah, because this thing was like forming right underneath the boat, like right next to the boat as it as you oh okay. as it came up. So, I thought so, it was I thought it was way off in the distance. No, it was like a hundred yards wide. Not that it was a hundred yards away. Gotcha. I rolled four with advantage. That's awesome. Nice job. That's a good start. Oh, I have to select a token, apparently. Mm -hmm. That's how you do this. I know how to play. So, So I rolled an eight. That's not much better. Boston, where's those good rolls you usually have? Cursed. Oh wait, I need to change mine. Reorder it. I, the dice roller was on in D and D Beyond. That's why they weren't carrying over. I rolled a fourteen, turned that off, and then I rolled a twenty-three. So I have a fourteen for initiative. Gotcha. Oh, right. Well, Yuri, Yuri, you rolled phenomenal. So, Yuri, this this thing just, psh, you see a splash erupt out of the water. And giant tentacles are kind of starting to whip out towards the sea ghost. How, how far away is this thing? Pretty far, huh? Pretty far. Is 
too far for me to shoot at it with my crossbow. And if you run up to the front of the deck, um, yeah, it's probably like 70 feet. I don't know what your range light, is, but... Light crossbow is decent range, I think. 80 feet. 320 max, but that would be a disadvantage. Um... I'm gonna dash to here and and that's it. Alright, Stoddler's Stoddler's is at the wheel. Stoddler's uh digs around into his bag and the uh, giant staff is wiggling around and uh grabs the heart and oh, shit. puts puts one foot on uh, Vasen and Vitoris and grabs uh, grabs Kolos and casts fly. So all three of you should now have fly. 60 feet. Nice. Fly at a fourth level spell gives me two. The heart gives me one more, I think. I didn't look at it later. Yeah, but the heart goes to get one extra. So that should give me one more. Yep. So each of you are flying, and uh, let's pray to God. Go do good things. <laughs> Stoddlers is going to be on the helm. And that is my turn. All right. Uh, and Stoddlers goes back to the helm and grabs the wheel, awaiting commands. And I, I'm, I'm just picturing Stoddlers looking like very serious at this point. Like, I'm the ship. Hell yeah. Um, does not do we st has it been an hour still? Like, do we have telepathic bond yet? Uh, Probably did, not. Did you cast it? This is a whole different day, so. Oh, my apologies. I missed oh, you're that good. part. No, I did not. Yeah, you you guys were like a day into the travel towards Liara. And it was like a five I day journey. Didn't undo my spells, so that was my bad. That probably would have changed some things, but it's of no concern. We're good. All right, Vitoris. Uh... What are you doing now? Probably wishing you were on that ballista. I wish we had a ballista, but I'm gonna tell Snollers try not to damage the ship, and then sixty feet. Actually, what? can I uh, revert my turn slightly and now actually like hard, hard starboard away from this thing? Yeah. Then I'm gonna bonus action dash. To there, pull out the crossbow for a 30 to hit. This is going well. Uh, yeah, so you shoot the crossbow at it, it just kind of bounces off this thing. It's got some real thick, nasty looking scales. I'll try and shoot it with my offhand. Nope. Nope. That's Oof. it for my turn. All right, you see this thing uh, moving closer to the uh, to the sea ghost, and these tentacles whip out. Uh, the twenty eight to hit the sea ghost. What do we have? So we gotta pull off the sea ghost stats. I forgot. I got those written down somewhere. They should be. I think they're in your journal. Three hundred health with a. Oh no, there's the ballista. No, come back. There we go. Yep. So the the hull is a uh, AC fifteen with three hundred health. Yep. Oh, we need some armor plating. That's probably twenty grand right there. <laughs> Easily. All right, so yeah, so you see these uh, tentacles whip out, smash into the side of the sea ghost. You see, like, duck boards flying off of this thing as the tentacles completely wrap up the sea ghost, restraining it. All right, so yes, yeah, so you guys are watching this thing as these, there's like, this thing's got like six or eight tentacles and they're just like lashing at the, at the sea ghost. 
And again, you see it's like wrapping up into the to the mass and just literally destroying wood. You see the crew members just fleeing. You see a couple guys actually dive off into the water. They're just knocked out off the deck. And that is it for its turn. So go ahead, Vasen. How much uh, movement speed do I get for flying? 60. So, okay, so I'm going to spend a key point and use my bonus action to dash. And get to... There. And then take the dodge action. Yeah, that's my turn. All right. And as uh, soon as that happens, you see this thing like turn as it's as you kind of fly over the top of it, and it faces uh, your direction, Vasa. And all of a sudden, you see the clouds forming above both ships as these lightning strikes come crashing down. Mm, uh, great. So, so uh, Vasa and the Taurus, and oh god. I'm going to make the ship as the third target. Uh, you guys have to make some uh, dexterity saving throws. 21. Come on, Sea Ghost. Uh, oof. Um, so both of you guys fail and take 31 points of lightning damage. You get struck Holy by shit. lightning. And the Sea Ghost gets blasted as a fire erupts uh, on one of the, uh, the sails of the Sea Ghost. Don't I have like an evasion? Hold on, I gotta find it. I thought, my, I thought I had a reaction for that. You get uncanny dodge? No, I thought I got like actual evasion, but maybe I don't. I think I can cut it in half regardless. I gotta remember I have that. Yeah, I failed the saving throw so I can cut it in half. No, nope, I take all 31. Oof. Nothing out of the ordinary? <laughs> Nothing out of the ordinary. All right, Kolos. Uh, yeah, you, so you're watching, you see the, like the lightning just strike the mast of the seagulls and one of the main sails on fire. Ah, uh, super. I'm going to dash and would you say he's within 10 feet of me? Measurement says 15, so no, never mind. Uh, that's my turn. Uh, right, Yuri, where are you at? You're on the ship. Going to... Actually, hold on. Let's give a turn to the to the other ship. That's what I wanted to do. So you guys can act for uh, for Bobby the Schlub, who's controlling the ship. What do you want to have him do? Don't get the boat sunk. Uh, have people man the ballista and shoot at it. All right. So let's see the ballista. Is a ranged weapon attack, so um, go ahead and uh, roll for the ballista. Look, go ahead, Vasen. Go to my roll. Just roll a d20. And you add plus six. Hell yeah. Nice. It's going to hit. Um, so it does 3d10 piercing damage, so go ahead and roll 3d10. Nice. So you you watch as Bobby's commanding one of the officers. He runs over, grabs a hold of the ballista that's on the uh, on the starboard side, and poof, just blasts this thing right in the face for twenty two points. Uh, 
Um, how many ballistas do you guys have? You have one on the bow. 25. Oh, we have two. You have two. So uh, go ahead. Uh, well, since the tourists can't usually hit, so go ahead and boss and uh, roll roll another one for the for the other ballista. I mean, you, you didn't have to personally attack me like so that. <laughs> Gotta give you some bit of a chance here. All right, another hit. So the second ballista also hits. 3d10 for another 26. Nice. So that's all right. Six. So yeah, you you guys watch as uh, some of the crew on the other on the seagulls are like cheering, like yeah, take that bitch. Um, Bobby also has a has, has a move. Well, the ship is restrained, so he ain't going anywhere. Uh, all right, so that brings up Yuri. Um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to move up as far as I can here. Oh, I do have evasion. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Like two turns later. <laughs> I was, I was looking for it this whole time. It was under job and, tr or feature traits. What are you doing, Yuri? Um, I moved up as far as I can, and I'm going to shoot at it with my crossbow, and it's going to have to be at disadvantage. Okay. It's either that or jump in and start swimming. Uh, if you pop your hood, you can swim at your normal speed, right? Yeah. I mean, I could... Swim halfway there, but being that I've moved my uh, full movement, I'll roll with this for now. But hey, yeah, so you you shoot, you hit it, but it's uh, it looks like your arrow just kind of glances off of it. Your bolt bolt glances off of it. Um, I'm not even going to bother wasting any more bolts. Um, yeah, I'm going to end my turn there. All right, as you do that, you see this thing just smash one of these tentacles into, into the ballista on the starboard side. Uh, Blista has an AC of 15. Mm -hmm. So you see this Blista gets smashed into it. It's still functioning, but it definitely took some serious damage. Not my fucking Ballistas! Alright, go ahead, Snothers. I think you know what Snothers is gonna do. Snothers has gotta do it. Deck saving throw. Uh, Snoddlers will turn this damage to. I've seen this thing use lightning, right? Yes. Hmm. Lightning was going to be my first two, but if it's using lightning, I ain't doing lightning. Uh, let's just leave it as fire. All right. Uh, deck saving throw. Was it DC 17? Mm hmm. He, oh, he rolls a three. 35 damage, please, sir. All right. In the words of the butcher, please, sir. <laughs> <sighs> so this fire just starts raining down on this thing, and it, uh, you see it just opens its mouth, and it just shrieks across the sea. I'm pretty sure I'm far enough away where I could definitely just launch it max range and hit anyone, because it's 150. Yeah, it's like, if I just max range it, I'm going to hit it and miss everyone else. Uh, so after you do that, you see another tentacle <sighs> smash out. Boom, I'm right. Still, I'm still turning the boat, too. Yeah, I want to give you a little more movement on the boat. Uh, yeah. Smashes into that ballista again. Let's see if it 
it's enough to take that bliss out. God damn it, that thing cost us five grand. Well, it's gone now with the 26 to hit. <laughs> 34 damage just smashes right through that ballista. So you're really down to. You lost the ballista on the starboard side. No! Uh, let's see. Let me, <clears throat> let, let, me move the, let me move the ship a little bit here. Um, there's some others. All right, go ahead, uh, Vitoris. Uh, steady aim. Let's see if we can actually hit this bitch. 25 to hit. That's going to be a hit. For 25 points of damage. All right, nice. That'll be it for my turn. So he is going to, again, you see this tentacle come out. And smash right into the side of the uh, sea ghost as it's trying to crush the sea ghost. Uh, yeah, so he does another 44 points of damage as the hull of the seagull oh, starts God. to collapse. No, don't sink our boat. You know how long it took me to gather that crew. <laughs> well, the crew now, you, you see, like, as that hit another one of the crew members, he's trapped under the weight of this, this tentacle, and you just hear this splattering sound. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, all right. Um, he, as he's pulling this the boat under the water, um, he makes a couple more attacks. I'm just gonna roll all three of them. All three of them hit. Um, I may have missed it. Did you give me a little turn still? Yeah, you got a little. Turn. Yeah, I, I gave you a little turn. The uh, it wasn't pledging, noticeable. Sorry. Pledging lady is getting the f out. Uh, so yeah, so this thing, all these tentacles now wrapping all completely around the sea ghost as it's starting to get crushed, and you're seeing water starting to flood into the side of the sea ghost. All right, Boston. Uh, I'm gonna go over and fucking whack it. Okay, Karuba. Oh, nice. Critical. Two handed, two handed strike. Yeah, nineteen. All right. Right in this thing's eye. Ah, it screeches out again. Action. Flurry of blows. Ah, 20. 20 going to hit. For 8. All right. I'm going to use it, even though it's stupid. Con save. Okay. 13. The save is 16. Nice. Can it be stunned? I have something like that. He can be stunned. Oh, wait, hold on. I actually didn't add his plus to it. Oh, no. He, he, he succeeds by a lot. Oh, no. He succeeds by a lot. I just, just realized this is saving throws. Con plus 14. Oh, my God. So he would have passed with a one? No. Yeah. Uh, no, he had to get a 2 or a 1. Yeah, yeah, he rolled a 13, so plus 14 is 27. 27. Oh my god. 23 to hit. And it'll hit. For 9. <laughs> Punch it in his face. <laughs> and then my last hit. Oh, 13. Uh, that one's going to miss. Right. But you feel like you're doing some damage to this thing as it's kind of you're kind of flying around it, just punching, kicking the shit out of it. Uh, but after that, you see it. The storm clouds just start electrifying again as three blasts oh, shit. of energy comes down again. Uh, all right, so Kolos, Vitoris, and uh, Vasa, and all three of you make some dexterity saving throws. 
And of course, none of them are close enough for the Aurora. 28. Nice. So both. Uh, uh, Vitoris got a 29. I got 28. Vitoris and uh, Vasen both pass. Um, but I got a 23. Uh, oh, all three of you pass. So let me see. You're going to take half damage. I take zero. I take zero. Beautiful. Reaction. Well, I get to take all the damage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 24. 24 points of damage. But that. But you pass. That's uh, half? So you take half. So he takes 12. Oh, thank God. I thought you were saying 24 was half. No, no, no. I was like, he, he's trying to kill the guys. All right, call us. All right, we'll rush in. Fly in. Uh, channel Divinity. The Vow of Enmity. And then swing with the Elemental Longsword. For 19 to hit. Alright, it's gonna hit. Uh, 14 damage. Nice. Plus... Level 2 smite. Another 13. Another 13. And then 2d4 of fire from the elemental. And swing again. All right, go for it. 29. Nice, that's another hit. <laughs> He's starting to hack into uh, this thing. For nine, and same thing. Fire and divine. So 29 nice. total on that second attack. Yep. And that's my turn. All right. So after that, this thing whips out. Uh, and right at you, Colos, after that massive attack on him. Let me see. Uh, 35 to hit. Um, just hits. All right, so you take uh, 24 points of bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled by this thing now. Oh, and restrained, sorry. Super. All right, um... Go ahead, Yuri. Um, so, is jumping off the ship an action? Um, it's going to be part of your movement. Just movement? Yeah, because you're just going to run off the side. It takes an action to pull your hood up, though. Yes, right. that it is. Well, that's, that's why I was asking. Word. I'm going to pull my hood up and hop off this side of the ship. Okay. And swim to here. And that's it. Um, all right. So he is going to, let's see, what did I use? Unless I'm going to get run over by the ship. Well, I mean, you are going the way this now. There's just turning the ship, but it's okay. Um, all right, so then, so he is going to grab a hold. As, as he's holding on to you, uh, Kolos, he's going to try to launch you. Towards the ship. Which ship? Uh, the other ship away from him. Gotcha. Alright, so yeah, so you just move 60 feet. I don't know if it's enough for you to hit the ship. When when does the ship get a turn? I I, I skipped this. I gotta go back to it. Because uh, it was supposed to go after. Just, just barely. Just barely. He throws you back toward the ship, but uh, you don't take any damage. Alright, so the ship's gonna go. So go ahead, uh, Vasen, go. You have the honors again of rolling for the blisses since you did so well last time. Oh, oh not this time. Oh well, wait, sixty. It's plus six, so. So seventeen. Seventeen. Um, that's not enough. Ah, oh, sorry guys. Um, so Bobby the slub, he is trying like hell. He's he's barking orders. Uh, he's over there trying to get the wheel to move, but this thing has got like three tentacles wrapped around the the ship, and it's just breaking it in half. 
Uh, so that was Yuri. Uh, so now there's Yuri up again. I think you know what Sonal is going to do. Got to do it. Oh, don't, don't run me over. Uh, I keep turning it right because he jumped off the wrong goddamn side of the ship. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to run him over. Now, what else am I going to do? Like, did that idiot just, doesn't matter. I'm getting away. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's like the longest spell I have. I don't think I can actually even do anything else. And that's the funny part. Like magic missiles is only 120, which I'm 135. So I could run away from the helm and then not do anything with the helm. That seems dangerous. Um, let's do another uh, ball of fire, and that's fly. Oops. <laughs> Close. They're both F spells. That's all I wanted to do. Please tell me you didn't forget to add his dex somehow. Uh, dex is the one thing he doesn't have, so... I mean, he does, but nothing compared to everything else. So, let's see. Uh, plus, he has a plus 7, so that's a... He wrote the 13, that's a 20. So, he's going to take half of the 34. Correct. Which is... 17? 17. So, boom, fireballs raining down on him. You've seen tentacles now just flailing. Um, was that it for your turn, Sounders? Uh, still turning the boat for the right. Oh, right yeah. O right over my favorite hobby. All right, so, uh, Yuri, you're going to have to make a dexterity saving throw. Nice. So, as Sounders is yanking the wheel, Yuri, you managed to uh, duck just below the, uh, the front of the ship without being smashed. That's Swam down like a shark. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. So, uh, well, let's see. After that, again, lightning starts crashing down. Jesus Christ! No, uh, this time on the ship, a strike of lightning, and then one towards uh, uh, Vasen and one at Vitoris. So dexterity saving throws. Damn it. Um, so Vitoris makes it. Uh, Vasen does not. So Vasen, it is. At least he didn't have disadvantage, Vasen. Yeah, but I gotta take full damage because my turn isn't up. Uh, it's 26 points of lightning damage, Vasen. Took the full thing. Don't have a reaction yet. How much damage? Uh, twenty six. Oh wait, no. But you, uh, you pass. Sorry, uh, sorry. So you only take a. Uh, well, you. Do you take half, or you do you have evasion? He can't use evasion. One reaction make, per turn. It oh, okay. Break it. Yeah, because it's not your turn yet. Yeah, so that's thirteen. It doesn't take my reaction. That's on uncanny dodge. Oh. You don't. You sure it doesn't take a reaction? Nope. That's uncanny dodge. Yeah, it just says whenever you take, may have to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh. I'm sure that you should check yeah, that. Yeah, your uncanny dodge is the one I can use a reaction and cut it in half. But that's oh. for anything. Nice. So then I could have half that 26 also then. I mean, unless you want to go down. No, 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 that's fine. <laughs> right. are, you, are you going for the D&D &D record for how many sessions in a row you go down? <laughs> All right, uh, Vitoris, it's uh, your turn again. Uh, steady aim. Let's see if we can shoot this bitch. Oh, and by the way, the ship is completely on fire now. <laughs> 27 to hit. Oh, yeah, that's going to hit him. He's looking hurt, too. 34 points of damage. All right, nice. Not, not the sea ghost. We got her from smugglers. We stole that fair and square. No, it was given to us by the king. Oh, that's right. No, the ship Stoller stealing it, uh, steering is the one we s sort of stole, <laughs> halfway stole. 
It's going to a good cause. Seaghost isn't out of it yet, but uh, the crew is not looking so good. Bobby's still there, though. He's he's hanging on there. What about Boomer? Is Boomer still alive? No, oh, that fucker's dead. <sighs> Alright, so what are you doing? You take a second attack? Uh, my turn's done. Oh, your turn's done. Okay. Um, it's his turn. <laughs> He gets so many turns. Stupid legendary actions. All right, with his uh, massive tentacles as he's crushing the crap out of the sea ghost. You see, it just starts squeezing as like eight of these tentacles wrap around this thing, and all of a sudden you hear this massive cracking noise. As you see Bobby running, uh, and the final tentacle grabs a hold of him, picks him up. Bobby gets tossed into the mouth of this thing. Fuck. As the seagulls breaks in half, and the, the creature starts taking the seagulls below the water. Within no. seconds, the seagulls disappears, along with the Kraken. I mean, everyone else on the ship. And everyone, everyone else on the ship. Thank God we saved that one guy. Do, do, do any of them swim to the surface? Float, you mean? Shut up. <laughs> I have hope still. Uh, as uh, Snathers cranks the wheel to get the, the pledging lady the fuck out of there, um, you don't see any survivors. And well... That's where we'll end. Fuck. Hey.